Welcome everyone to Constructed Chaos. Good to see everybody in the chat tonight. Uh, we are here running our D&D live stream like we do every single Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, and as it is every single Wednesday, uh, we have our lovely sponsors, Tabletop Beard, sponsoring yet another stream with a new beard oil that they sent me. Uh, this one's been out for a little bit, but it's from their uh, like all-natural oil collection. It's called Spring Equinox. Uh, and it smells like a spring rose. It's, it is uh, very florally, and I love that, uh, but it doesn't sound like, it doesn't smell like a grandma. Uh, so it's it's like if you walked into a, a beautiful flower shop on a bright sunny day uh, without all the pollen getting into your nostrils, this is the stuff that you need. Uh, this is uh, one of many oils that they offer. Uh, as you can see, they have uh, different branded oils for uh, different TTRPG classes, so you can get different scents that match your TTRPG persona. Uh, check them out at the link in the description below and use code CHAOS20 for 20% at checkout. Um, they are a lovely bunch of dudes, uh, really love our friends over at Tabletop. Uh, so make sure to, to give them some love and thank you, Justin, for the love. Five gifted memberships right off the bat here. I will make sure to add your points and welcome friends to the Chaos Crew. Uh, we, uh, I see a couple of names in there that I recognize, but lots of new friends. So welcome in. Hope you're having a great night. And, uh... You chose a good night to join us because uh, later on we're going to be doing yet another giveaway from our other friends at penandpaperonline.de. Their link is also in the description, but I won't spoil that too much. We'll be doing that giveaway uh, for one of their lucky potions uh, right after our uh, break that we do about halfway through the stream. Um, do also check out our friends over at Darkport. Uh, Justin is uh, uh, the, the man who runs the stream over there and also plays D&D with them occasionally. Uh, so you know that they're super friendly. They have an amazing game uh, uh, with really great production quality. You'll often find me in the chat if you want to uh, hang out. Uh, their live stream is on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, and then you can just sort of roll that into our Wednesdays uh, and have just sort of like a really great midweek awesomeness uh, <laughs> uh with that said i think that's just about everything so we can finally get our adventure started and roll that beautiful bean footage thank you boys thank you <laughs> the sun has long set behind you and the waxing crescent moon offers little guiding light in the woods surrounding ardale Though a hospitable stranger has led you to a warmer atmosphere within a lively network of repurposed elven towers, retrofit and closed off from the apparently dangerous nights of the region. Now you watch as the close-knit crowds go about their evenings without a second thought, gathering goods from local shops and trading words with their fellow seekers of refuge. It becomes readily apparent that not so many outsiders come to these lands without intending to journey further north to Mistkeep, and Vinlay has made it even clearer with her own warnings that far fewer return from there, before being claimed by the ghastly city as it vanishes back into the ether, trapping their souls within. Welcome hey, back, hey, everybody. Hello. Now we can see all of our friends, and I can see in chat. Uh, sorry, it had scrolled really fast. Grim Reefer also gifted some memberships. Coming in hot, as always. Really appreciate the support, friend. Uh, you're the best. Uh, also, Tabletop Beard coming in. You guys already sponsored the stream. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I really uh, love that you guys are here helping to support the stream, sharing it with friends. Uh, if you haven't already, like the stream, subscribe to the channel, make sure you don't miss anything, and uh, help the al algorithm pitch this out to more friends so we can uh, start, a, start a stream that uh, 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 rivals the population of neighboring kingdoms. Uh, that said, now that Chad has seen the intro, and all of you have seen the intro, we rejoin the four of you 
in Ardale after your visit with Vinlay as you overlook the assortment of market stalls and uh, businesses within one of the ramshackle elven towers that has been uh, uh, retrofit together to uh, shield the general population from the dangerous mists of the night. What would you like to do? Shopping episode. <laughs> Shopping montage. Yeah. Montage. We're going to the mall. Yes, yeah, sir. Let's all go to the mall. Um, Drazad <laughs> preparing for us to <laughs> basically enter another plane of existence. I'm going to start looking for a jeweler or anybody that might have like precious gemstones. Okay. Um, as you look out upon the crowd, you see a number of stalls that are very uh, ramshackle and, and not well put together, much like the rest of the environment. But there yeah. is one that stands out to you. Um, it's sort of uh, uh, set apart by its uh, lavish uh, uh, tent-like structure with yeah. a lot of uh, really, really nice velveteen exterior. It's really frilly. Probably. Yeah, it's very yeah. frilly. You're not sure if they're going to have gemstones, but you might imagine that would be the yeah. place to go. These pl- they're bougie here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's where I would go when I would <clears throat> part the curtain as I walked in and Okay. As you enter, uh, the relatively uh, uh, bright light outside, the torchlight inside of this elven tower, is replaced by a dim light flickering softly and casting intricate shadows upon the worn purple fabric uh, of the tent's exterior. um, Or interior, rather. Mm -hmm. Um, Amidst the shelves lined with curious artifacts and shimmering trinkets, uh, a woman uh, stands with an air of mysticism, her judging eyes gleaming with hidden knowledge. You can see that she has uh, really pale green skin, uh, lots of like freckles maybe, um, splotches across her skin, and her nose is actually almost like shaved off at the tip. She appears to be some different creature or race than what you might have experienced before. Um mm. But she she welcomes you. And I, Greetings, traveler. Well, it is good to meet you as well. You and th- I enjoyed the color of your skin. Look, I'm. They are scales, but not far from the color wheel. <laughs> what do you seek? I am seeking precious gemstones. If you would like to cut to the chase, a diamond specifically. I'm not sure if I have such a thing, but you're welcome to peruse the rest of my wares. As she uh, she motions for you to explore her uh, her spacious tent, um, you don't find any diamonds, but you may spot a couple of gemstones. I'm going to send in the in the chat the uh, inventory of this this shop. Okay, I'll glance through it real quick. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like any. Uh, uh, Oh, she is Gems. bougie. But there are, there are some nice artifacts in here. While he's looking through that, are there any... Oh, um, are there any, like... Oh, my God. <laughs> um, Sorry. Where did he go? Places where they sell, like, book... Yeah. Book stuffs? Um, Spells and whatnot, or, like... Would this be you, the most magical kind of place? I was about to say, did you go in with him? Because you'd probably see some spells. Probably. Oh, yeah. hey, I have one of those. <laughs> I'll just look on yours. Um, I'd walk in and I'd say, "Oh, I see you have um a few um scrolls." Yeah. Yes, I'm a collector of sorts. Um, would you like to collect some more? Depends on what you have and what you bargain for. Oh, period. Well, I have these, and I'd lay out three in front of him. Um, Dance Macabre, a level 5 um, Knock, a level 2 And Catapult, a level 1 Hmm This one is nice She pulls up the, the Dance Macabre As she uh, unravels The parchment to uh, Analyze the, the, the spell within I could take this off your hands I just did. Oh And I texted 
Wait, right. what? She, she said okay. you could take this off my hands. We were all in the same brain cell. I was <laughs> listening to that. Yeah, all we right. apologize. Oh, it's all good. No, yeah, is that apologies. what she said? Mm-hmm. Well, yes. Um, what about the other two? These are less interesting to me. How much would you give me for that one? Make a uh, persuasion check. Hey, God, can you ask her how much she would give me for that one? <laughs> 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 brain cell. We are sharing brain cells tonight, guys. That Ooh, is... We got a D20 in the chat. Let me roll for it. eight hours. Yay. What are we rolling in the chat? Um, I don't know. Yeah, you what is that? That, that is a. Uh, we have a twenty and a seventeen. A sixteen. Oh, nice. Might immediately use that. Huh? Might, Thank you, Graham. I, I, might, yeah. I might. I might. I might. Um. We also have a plus three, a plus one, and a, oh, you can see it. My bad. Yeah, I'm gonna take the plus three to make it a, a fifteen. What was it? A sixteen? You got it. Yeah. I'm going to mark plus. Okay. You got it, Caleb. Thank you. Yeah, I got it. All these Google Docs that we're updating together. I would be able to <laughs> purchase it for 700 hey, gold. I don't have any more apples. My apologies. My oh, pockets are light. Can I, can I tell if that's truthful? Make an insight check. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Seven. I think Yo she's telling my. the truth, I think. She does seem to be telling the truth, um, but as you look around the shop, you see that much of what she has uh, was likely either uh, was likely bought off of adventurers traveling through the area. Um, and so you might hazard a guess that she may not be willing to make such an investment on something that she may not be able to immediately turn around and sell. Gotcha. She said 700? Mm-hmm. Let me look at her stuff. What if we made it um, an even 900 and I throw in the other two? You have yourself a deal. I am Sarak. In my culture, we shake upon deal. I'm Valoth. In my culture, we don't talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, he thinks in his head, though. In my culture, I take that back after yeah, I sell yeah. it to you. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Oh, because we still have pirate, don't we? Yeah, you do. Yep. I, I literally just sold one of the scrolls that I stole. Oh um, is there anything else that you guys would like while you're here? Um, would she... I would pull out um, my prismatic lens goggles. Okay. Now, this is not a spell scroll, and I know we've already done a deal, but I, I didn't feel right lumping this in with the others, but would you be potentially interested in this or know someone who might be interested in these? And remind me, these are the glasses that allow you to sort of see through illusions? They give you advantage to see something that's um, hidden that's or right. invisible. Yeah. That's right. Sh you see her uh, eyes sort of perk up. What is this? Um, They grant the wearer the ability to... Um, detect uh, usually unseeable objects or apparitions if someone might be invisible or May very I? well hidden of course yes she takes it and holds it to her eyes uh which are are not only is she sort of like glaring through them at you but you realize that her eyes really are just sort of like very yeah. narrow uh, and as she places the goggles to her eyes, you can see the color of her pupils for the first time, uh, a sort of hazel blue, uh, as she blinks through them. Ah, and, and, I and, see. And Fascinating. I'll, I would even say, um, take, the, take them off for a second, and then I'll turn invisible and I'll say, put them back on. Ah. Uh. This would help on nights when uh, the mist is thick, I think. I believe so. Perhaps I can add this to my own personal collection. I would take them off your hands for 200 gold. Hmm. How would you say to 250? I did buy them for pretty close to 200 myself. Then I 200 is a fair here. price. But I brought them all the way here from... That name of that place where the mill stacks was. What's Very far. My Vera. My Vera. Two hundred. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. 
as she uh, gathers her new goggles on, she places them over her head um, and straps them onto the back, basically. And I'll, I'll drop invisibility. <laughs> yeah, she's been <laughs> speaking with you invisibly. <laughs> um, is there anything else? Um, yes. I would... <clears throat> so hear me out. I understand that you are very um, high class and val- you know you value your wares, but I see you have this mithril chain mail, and I am very interested in purchasing it or bartering with you for it. Of course. So I have a brooch of shielding, and I'll pop it off my armor, and you'll kind of see like a fizzle in the air go away. Um, and I would like to know how much you would offer me for it. It's fifty. Uh, it is an uncommon item. That's from the forgotten. Which is not going to sell for 1500 gold. Literally, I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it popped up on Google and I was like, no chance I'm getting this. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> the armor is worth well over this brooch, but I could bring the price down to 550 gold pieces for the chain mail. I'll, it I'll, would see I'll well I'll be like, do you just want the mithril? <laughs> no. No, there is a reason. Drazad wants the okay. mithril. Um, okay, well, s- the brooch, obviously, and I will also n- have no need for my current armor. Your so, armor of gleaming? Yes. So I would also ask... Oh, you're going to make yourself new armor with the mithril? No, it's mithril chain mail that oh, she it has. Is mith- oh, I see. Yeah. I see. It's already armor. <laughs> Uh, I could be okay. At what I, she's never selling. mind. I thought it was a chain sh- myth of chain shirt. Mm-mm. Yeah, interesting. This item, uh, it's pretty. I'll give you that. No, but it look how pretty eyes. it can be, and I'll and try to make it glow more. <laughs> make a persuasion check. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we're coming here, and we're like selling all kind of stuff, and barely buying. Well, anything. I knew you guys probably needed to. Oh, we needed nice. to seventeen. Stuff, yeah. You have nothing to that? Huh? You have no. <laughs> you no, see I, her like slightly enchanted by, by your, your your propositioning, but then she sort of falls back into her same uh, mm. dismal mm. sort of speaking. Unfortunately, looks will only get you so far. I do want to sell things that will keep my patrons alive. But this will. It is not only armor, but it glows. What is better than I will that bring the this... price down to 450 gold. You see, I look over it. Are we all in this? I would imagine yeah. so. Yeah. I okay. Am. I'll look over the two of you and go, Can I, can Thrasad borrow a single gold piece? <laughs> <laughs> I'll flip you one as I'm counting what she gave me. I'll just flip you one that I was. <laughs> Deal, sold. She shakes your hand as she. Uh, finds a, a nice place to shelve the armor of gleaming. Uh, it actually brightens up the room just a little bit as it uh, reflects the light in and the chamber. I, your green skin. And I'll not motion, I'll not touch her, but I'll kind of motion. It looks so beautiful in the new light you have in here. Mm, Drazati. <laughs> Make a... <laughs> I'll let you pick either persuasion or performance check with disadvantage, either one. It's a zero to either of them, so... I rolled a, a, the highest roll was a two. And then that one. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we are rolling nice. crap tonight. Wait. Mi- <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what are you what I'm are you sorry, doing? chat. I'm going to take the, no. I'm going to use my reaction and take the 13. Okay. <clears throat> the mists have gone to your head, I see. Not enough. Mm-hmm. Take your flattery and leave if you are done. If our business is concluded, I would rather accompany myself. No, that's as fair. Drizad will hopefully see you again one day. Well, that's a little disgusting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> She's like a wondrous. You said like wondrous item shop. Kind of? yeah, yeah, pretty much. I did. I would kind of come back behind everybody and say, like, I have a 
bunch of other stuff for that seems like it would be what you would be looking for if you're interested. I'm always interested. See this dart with the little microphone on it? I do? Yeah. If you say somebody's name and throw it, it'll just stick in their neck and explode. What, uh, what? It's a secret dart. It's secret uh, dart. uncommon, right? Or is it common? It's uncommon. Uncommon. It's uncommon. Yep. I would be able to offer one-time use, yes? Yeah. Or, or, hear me out. Is there anybody in this market you don't like? <laughs> <laughs> what are you suggesting? Oh, I, I, what are you suggesting? <laughs> <laughs> These people are my friends. Oh, I'm just checking. We can check this thing out. See if it I works. like I like the line of, of thought here, but this is a tight knit community. Okay. And she knows everyone. Well, so I got that, and then like <laughs> I start like pulling stuff out of my backpack, and I'm like, I got these goggles. These goggles let you charm people. Dude, I was like, man. this thing is a a, a a hat, and I take off my hat, and I'm like, whoa. I've been taking my hat off for a long time. I'm like, whoa. You, you feel like your brain is rattling. Right. You're like, this is um, um uh, one of those things you wear in your head. Yeah. Those things. <laughs> and I, I put on the other propeller hat, and I'm like, uh, like, <laughs> and like, go up and fly. So the propeller hat and the secret dart, and the eyes are charming. Okay. Uh,. But you're not giving. Oh, you just took off the headband of intellect. You're yeah, just to show her the yeah. how the um, propeller hat works. If you're leaving all three of these wonderful items with me, I could, uh, I could make a pass for a thousand gold. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah. So a deal we have. Yep. Uh, so you can. Mark yourself a thousand gold and remove those items. Uh, chat, sorry, some of the items you gifted got sold, but do know that the gold that they received is definitely going to go towards oh, more I'm about to learn a bunch things. of new spells. Everybody, <laughs> had, everybody had 250. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all of us? So you sold well, the propeller helm and the eyes of charming? Yes. Is there is there like a, 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 a new line in the... Uh, I don't know. I can't. I think it's because I'm on my this new computer. What's it doing? It's if it over, added a new line, then it oh, wait, dropped hold on. it. I think I fixed it. I think it was yep. me. Oh. Yeah, it was definitely. Okay. Sorry. Hey, okay. there you go. Okay. Uh, can I? Can we talk about AC and D and D Beyond real quick? What uh, about it? Sure. So the reason I was doing that whole trade and everything is because I, whenever I wear heavy armor, I'm supposed to get a plus one bonus to my AC. My AC when I was wearing. The armor of gleaming was a nineteen. I've equipped the mithril chainmail, and it's still a nineteen. Okay. Is mithril less than the regular than the armor was base? <clears throat> so I just went through manage inventory and like went to re-add the armor of gleaming. And if you check every medium, because it was medium armor, I made sure to check before I started. Yeah. It all the medium. You just may need to do redo your AC calculation like by hand. You can I, customize I'm not it entirely. Click, sure. Okay. If you click Off AC, the top of my head, I don't no, know. you're good. I'll double check <laughs> yeah. it. No, uh, uh-uh. I'll show you. Um, I'll help you at the break. Sure. Yeah, yeah, we can yeah. figure that out yeah, off stream. Yeah. Quick glance at the rest of the place. Um, um, what other kind of vendors do they have? Uh, well, you look across the way, and, and really, aside from this stall, there is one other that's drawing a lot of attention. Um, it appears to be one of the more uh, run-down stalls, uh, but across the top, it it is uh, it spells out. Uh, flicks equipment stall as you see a lot of people have gathered around uh there's a there's a kinku behind the uh behind the wooden storefront uh propositioning various uh pieces of of gear i'll go check that place though okay uh that calls for a song change Uh, as, <laughs> as you approach, the stall is alive with the clatter of uh, the bustling market. Like Yet amidst this chaos, a kinku stands with an air of quiet intrigue. The wares on display seem mundane at first glance, but with a keen eye and a bit of luck, you imagine you might be able to uncover some something rare amidst the uh, eclectic curiosities of this humble stall. 
and I'll send the link to the what he's got there. This is giving um, Encanto like vibes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> I feel like somebody's about to start singing about superpowers and <laughs> their their cousin Bruno. We don't talk about that. We guy. Don't talk about yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or their brother. Anyway. Ooh, another shop has entered the chat. <laughs> Putting it in the Google Doc. Brett. I've also got it open on my screen. I got it, yeah. <laughs> I figured it out, Alex. That's my apologies. I got it. Mm-mm. Ooh, new scrolls. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? As as you uh, proposition the various uh, uh, items, you you feel the prying eyes of this kinku as he stares at, at you from like one side of his head because his eyes are on either side. And he's like looking directly at you and eyeballing up and down at the item you're you're looking at. Hi. Hi. Um, you selling stuff? Selling stuff? Um, nice armor. Nice. Oh, I can't. Selling. Is this all you have? All have. You buying? Buying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or no. <laughs> you yeah. realize that he's like he's got to pair it back yeah, yeah. exactly the inflection yeah, yeah. that you're <laughs> um Oh my god. Uh Can I roll a perception check to see what his intelligence is? Yeah. <laughs> you can roll an inside check. I'll pull out the uh boomerang we have and I I'll, I'll intentionally miss but throw it to where it hooks around and comes back. As the boomerang flies uh around and you catch it, uh you see the kinku he made the noise. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he begins uh, pulling out a small satchel of, of gold from behind the counter and counts out. Uh, he he puts 30 gold pieces on the counter. <laughs> Drizod claps. <laughs> that was a wonderful performance. He puts 30 gold you. pieces I on? believe he missed a zero. Yeah. I uh, know. He missed, he missed a... <laughs> Feels like we're talking to your uncle. He puts five more. It's, uh, it, mm, this, I keep this boomerang is quite. Yeah, it is magical of nature, nature. Did we sell the charm person goggles? We did. Yeah. yeah. We did. <laughs> uh, you see, like there's a board behind him as he as he points to the first thing on there, and it says name. Your name. My name. Odd. Odd. But not odd like he is odd. Odd as in like capital O odd. Flick. Flick is his name. I can't roll it my says, R's. So. It says Flick. Flick's the uh, Emporium? Oh. Or. And then he, he. I can't do it. He again goes. For those who don't know, for those who don't know, that is an automatopoeia. <laughs> a, a sound. <laughs> I can't do it. Like a, like a duck quack. So, so do you want you want the, the boomerang? Want boomerang? Okay, it is a magical boomerang worth more than thirty five gold. Well, more than thirty five gold. <laughs> worth thirty five gold. <laughs> worth worth one thousand gold. Worth thirty five gold. Ah. Uh. I, uh, we 50. can come back tomorrow and when no one has told him 50. 35. <laughs> 50. 50. Worth 50 gold. It's worth way more than that. Make a persuasion check. I'm trying to. I, it's better than 35. Yeah, but it's a plus one boomerang. <laughs> a plus one of a crappy weapon is yeah, still a crappy weapon. Yeah, but it's weapon. a plus one boomerang. <laughs> you said persuasion? Yes. Yeah. 21. 21. 21. He sort of like bobbles his head back and forth. He counts out another 15 pieces of gold to make 50 on the counter. Mm. What, what's the lowest you would take? 100? What's the lowest you take? 100? Uh, lowest I would take would be 500. 100? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. How about this? Flick. There you go. Flick. <laughs> Special inventory? Special it's inventory? <laughs> It is not flick. <laughs> Special inventory? Ooh, secret inventory. Selling. Any motions to the 
wares that are out. Mm. Ah. Hundred gold. No thanks, Flick. I pick up <laughs> I pick up one of the hundred gold pieces and I flick at him. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, that is just, yeah. No, not in like a like no, not like a. How else you meant that? Aggressive way. I would just like. Did you make go, a bird cry? I didn't think that was possible. I don't flick it like at, like I flick it back in the gold. I'm not like in your head like. We gonna get eaten by I'm a not, bird. I'm not like make a persuasion style, check. Like, yeah. pick, like, make a performance check. Oh god. Slay. I'm the only one that hasn't gotten any one of these. Um, That's I'm gonna take a plus. I'm gonna use my reaction for a ten. I don't know. If that was worth it. I t- just took a plus one. No, I know, but I mean, <laughs> might as well beat that threshold. Yeah, get in the double digits of things. Yeah. Hundred gold. Huh. Thanks. <laughs> and then I'm gonna walk away. Uh, as Flora turns her back. Uh, Sees you off. He flicks you off. <laughs> oh, oh my Sam. god! <laughs> I love, I love that so many times you'll say something and I don't get. I just look at Sam. <laughs> he tells you the joke, and he always like, he's god. like, "This is what he's saying." <laughs> it is a curse. I look over. Dravian, it. thank you, read, you so much for the gifties. <laughs> Selling to a king who sounds about as buying from a Timmy. From Timu. Yes. From Timu. Uh, Got yeah. it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, very, very one. true. Uh, yeah. You never know what you're going to get, but there may be some good things there. And we've I'm ruled that I, you like can't, box, you, I can't learn a cantrip spell. Scroll oh, uh, by, like the whole wizard thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want any of I'll, I'll, I'll bump you and say, hey, you need to detect magic on this stuff? Yes, give me um, 10 minutes. I can dance for 10 minutes. And I'll, I'll ritual cast detect magic. <laughs> Make a performance check. Okay. Uh, and oh, if you're dancing, I'm dancing. Which what you? are we doing? <laughs> we want to listen to this music longer. That's what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. Can I give her a help action? Dance with her? Uh, yeah. yeah. Roll again. Advantage. <laughs> 17. Woo! With your 17, you begin to like some of the people that are standing at the crowd are not used to seeing people dance, and uh, maybe a memory comes back to you from your childhood of like a ceremonial dance <laughs> from Zashitan. When I got my boca. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and they're they're exposed to a whole new culture and, and people begin to gather a bit. Uh, definitely shook. drawing eyes towards uh, the stall. Valoth, uh, you do not detect any magic on the items splayed out before you, aside from the spell scrolls, of course, but go ahead and make a perception check for me. Um, 16. With your 16, uh, you see as, you know, this, this Kinku is up front, uh, showcasing their wares, floor is dancing. Um, another figure is at the stall, uh, hooded. And getting a bit too close for comfort to you. To me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <gasps> like walking. No, they're like, so you're at the stall and you're they're turned around looking at Flora and, and they're, uh, they're like right next to you. Can I? Oh. I have a question about timelines. Mm-hmm. How long is this since the murder mystery one shot? Oh, uh, gosh. Uh, uh, about a week. Mm, okay. They're getting close, but they are not close yet. They're, I mean, they're, they're close. They're just not touching you, but you can feel them like sort of inching. Is it another kinku? Another bird? Is it a cat? With your 16 perception, you can see, yes, it's another kinku. Mm. You can see the beak sticking out from the hood. I'm going to like, I'm going to, I'm going to, whoever's on the other side of me, I'm going to like pretend like I'm looking at things and get like, and continue perusing to the other side, like putting a person between us. And when there's a break, I'm gonna like double check, make sure I have my gold and everything okay. on my body still. Like all my, I'm gonna do a quick like, got my spell book, yeah, yeah. Phone, 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 <laughs> wallet keys check. Um, do I still have everything? Uh, yeah, you do. As you as you you get the sense that uh, this may be 
you know part of the way flick operates and as uh as you eye this this kinku who sort of uh notices you noticing them uh <laughs> they let out a sound that sounds like coins jingling mm. towards me jared thank you for the gifty welcome to the crew. And, and welcome to the crew for four months i've been seeing you in there so welcome to the stream hope you're having a great night so they, like they make the, that noise, like look, like directing at me, or just like out. It, it seems like almost <laughs> passively being made, sort of like how Flick was yeah. occasionally yeah. saying yeah. their name. Um, that's their name. Yeah, I'm gonna look up to, and I'm gonna say, um, if your friend, if you don't want your friend to get caught, you'll buy the boomerang for seven hundred gold. Friend caught. Stealing. Stealing? And I'm going to look to... And I'm going to take two coins, or a couple coins out of my pocket, I'm going to make that noise, like, of coins jingling. And point to him. And then put the, the coins back in. 100 gold. Mm. Well, attention, everyone! Um... Ooh. This man here might be pickpocketing people while everyone else is perusing at... <laughs> Stall. Um, be wary. And then I'm gonna walk away. Uh, make, a, <laughs> make, a, make a persuasion check with advantage. <laughs> Ew, what do we have? We have a D8, huh? Ooh. Yeah, it's an eight too. Persuasion, you said? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna use my reaction. And take the eight for okay. a twenty-one. Twenty-one. You see, at least half the crowd sort of begin to mind themselves and and check their pockets as they they leave the stall to peruse others. Um, Flick kind of eyeballs you, and he also he he gives you a rude gesture as uh, he begins to scoop up his various wares <laughs> into a bag um, and uh, calls out to uh, who you now know as Jingle. Jingle, Jingle. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, mm. begins packing up the stall. <laughs> yep. I check my personal belongings before they pack up. Me too. I got everything I thought. Uh, you do. Okay. Yeah. Just I check your stuff. You do. I would uh, see them check. I would. Yeah. You might want to check too. I don't know, tell and Drizad's missing Lightbringer. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> <laughs> what? What is that? Do you not trust them? No. Oh, he was definitely about to pickpocket me. Oh. Make make an insight check, Valoth. Uh, natural one. He was definitely about to pick five. Of me. <laughs> uh, yeah, he yeah. did. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just guess. I'll check my purse. Do I have everything? I have all my gold. You do. Oh, so. Any other boots for- worth checking out? Or you see that now that you know that's been called out, things are starting to die down, and there's not a whole lot of other activity. Maybe yeah. things are starting to wind down for the night in general. Uh, you do see a stall that leads to uh, a establishment called the sleepless inn but you know that you may need to get going are we we're spending the night huh i don't know we got to get on the no ship yes we can go get on the ship and yeah yeah we have to get on the road because it's about a day's travel and the window's only open for an hour we need to be there whenever it's open and then how long do we on have the again? way on, on the hour. way back i'll stop at that lady's if we miss it three weeks oh to i'll get stop at that lady's uh thing and i'll I'll show her the boomerang and I'll just say, hey, how about a couple of these scrolls? Mm. Are you talking to the Wicked Witch of the West lady? Yeah, that lady. Got it. <laughs> That's what I have her as in my notes. <laughs> Did you pick up any? Jared, thanks for the two no, bucks. Uh, Valoth is a complex character. Flora, it's okay. <laughs> I tried to understand him. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's tough. Uh, Jared, I tried to add your, your points here, but you're not coming up yet. It may just take a second for you to pop into uh, the system on the back end here. But I promise I, I will not forget you. How about, I will not forget you, friend. I will not leave you behind. How about uh, four of these scrolls for this? Dark Vision, Earth Trimmer, and Large Meldstone. I can part with three. I will. Yeah, I, I'll take. I'll take. Uh, thank you. 
I take all of them but Earth Tremor. Okay. Yep. Cool. They are yours. You make the exchange. She now has the boomerang. Yep. <laughs> Does that dart work on Kinku? <laughs> Yeah, hey, I offered. Hey, did you really? Uh, if when she says that, I'm like, oh yeah. And look, his name is. All you got to do is whisper his name, and his name's just like that. That many R's, and then throw it. And then if you want to hit his friend, his friend's name is. I like to imagine that uh, Kinku specifically are immune to its effects because their names are not really names. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You got Charm Person, Dark Vision, and No, and I got Dark Vision, Enlarge Reduce, and, and Meld. Meld. Let's okay. go. You can tell these stuff. Turns out I might need Dark Vision at some yeah. point. You know, that's fair. <laughs> I almost got that, but then I decided against them. I decided for the Mithril. But now we have both. Nice. <laughs> what else are you guys doing? That's it. We got a head. Okay. Yeah, I think let's get back so to no the ship So no boomerang, and you still have the key, or did you sell the key? I'm going to keep the key, because I keep wanting to try and... I, I'm going to keep trying to unlock things. <clears throat> okay. In that case, uh, you all are making your way to the ship, I take it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, don't, Flora, don't you have wind? To blow the away the spirits. I do have that. Now, our friend that brought us here did that, so I figured that might That's be... That's true. Um, yeah, I'll cast Gust of Wind. Okay. As you exit the way you came, uh, you cast Gust of Wind, and you see the mists uh, partially uh, removed from the area. Some of the little lights that were bobbing up and down part with it. Mm-hmm. You see a clear path to the outskirts of town, and as you push more and more of the mist out of the way, you eventually arrive at your ship just as you left it. You guys are manning it? Yep. yep. All right, Valoth, I assume you take the helm, so make a survival check for me. You do add your ship uh, proficiency. My ship! <laughs> oh, that one. Ah, much better. Survival plus ship proficiency, that's 22. Okay. Oh, yeah. With your 22, uh, you're able to take off and fly uh, above the mist as you see... Uh, some of uh, the wind from Flora begin to like die down. You see that that mist just swallow up the ground beneath you, uh, and and swallow up many of the tree canopies at large. Uh, ahead, you see a few more elven towers before the expanse is clear, and it sort of looks like just a uh, endless void before the the night sky on the horizon. Um, what what was the ship looking like? Um. Because I know we had traveled for a day, but mm-hmm. it's rested for a couple hours. Would we? Would I kind of know about like how much travel we've still got in it? Like we can we can get all the way to Miskeep, no issues, or would we be pushing it? You'd be able to get to Miskeep, no issues. Yeah, we do. didn't. We didn't push it, did we? We, we didn't, didn't. But we're yeah. that, that's also like right up our t- at our two in or two right. day, two day uh, limit. Two day mark. I see what you're but we let it rest for like an hour or two, so it's like I don't I don't know. Okay. What we're looking like. In that case, you guys have a day of travel ahead of you. And yep. even as the sun comes out on the following day, you see the mists persist beneath you. Occasionally you catch uh, hints and, and, and uh, uh, glimpses of detail beneath it, uh, but nothing more than really a silhouette. Uh, occasionally you can hear the sound uh, of rushing water uh, or uh, maybe even a small waterfall beneath you. But aside from that, you don't see ground, and it's a bit unsettling. Um, over the course of this day, is there anything you guys would like to be doing? I would like to learn a couple spells. Okay. Um, honestly, I think there's only one that I can learn, because I don't have the spell level to be able to do the other ones. That's a fifth. Don't have fifth. That's sixth. And Elwins is all sixth. Yeah. So I'm going to take some time to copy the Borrowed Knowledge spell scroll okay. in my book. And I'm going to spend my 50 gold to do that. <laughs> nice. But not your 50 gold. You see uh, uh, Valoth texting and driving. <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd hand the helms off to somebody <laughs> while I did that. Or I'd uh, ritual cast Unseen Servant <laughs> and tell him to steer. Yeah. Hold. I'm, 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 I'm right steady. here. <laughs> 
uh is there anything else you guys would like to do i will be tinkering with the engine as far as like i'll be typically like going down there right before we take off and as we take off casting mending on the parts if i see any like <clears throat> fractures that are starting to form after the day of travel just to kind of maybe push us a little you know 30 minutes extra to get in the portal that we're going to try to fly through right but i would like to take like whatever it takes of the sun steel ingot okay but i would like to probably lop off maybe like i don't know an eighth of it or so i'm not really sure but i would like to make like 20 little like ball bearings okay of sun steel yeah, you're definitely able to do that, especially your, uh, I believe it's not Blessing uh, of the Forge, but the uh, other... The Artisan's Blessing. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, that'll that allow you to do that, no problem. Uh, I will say, make a uh, religion check, which is a weird yeah. thing to make on the uh, the ship's components to see how much extra juice you might be able to squeeze out of them. It's a weird check to make for that, but um, you are a cleric. All right, I'm gonna take the last plus one and for a fifteen. Okay. Um, in that case, I will say that you do see some of the sun steel components of the ship healed up a bit, mm-hmm. uh, and you feel that while you may be still limited roughly to you know your your two days, you know that you also have to leave within that hour, right? Um, and you feel as though the ship could get you back across whatever threshold without completely flatlining nice i forget does learning the spell consume the scroll yes yes yeah it does don't worry we got you alex (laughs) so because you you copy it into your yeah but i'm not like damaging the scroll you know that i get it because scrolls are consumable too so it's like yeah it says like as part of learning it you have to like practice it so i that's Mm -hmm. but that's why i was i wasn't sure i want to talk to Bot. Okay. Um, so I forgot, I guess as Flora probably, how was Eve related to you? Um, turns out she was my um was it did I tell, did, yeah, I told y'all mm-hmm. about what yeah. happened. No, she was my half sister. Half sister. Oh that's right. My mother had mm-hmm. a whole nother life that I knew she had a whole nother life here in um in in its head. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I, I know she had a whole nother life here in the Instead, but I didn't know she had a whole nother family. Eve seems to be a lot older than you. Yes, especially since she's dead. Well, <laughs> yeah, she's dead now. Yeah. Now you have time to catch up? Well, she was dead. No, she was definitely dead and then before. she was brought back to life. Right. Oh, okay. She was like a revenant, yeah. if you're familiar with those. Or a I'm lich, not. potentially. Okay. Not really. So the but. Eve that we fought was like... Brought, brought back, back by the by that wizard we killed. Uh, okay. Did your mother give you the moniker of Odd? No, I think the no. world did. Uh, huh? I said no. I think the world did. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've always felt out of place, uh, so I felt it was a good stage name. Uh, okay. But, um, just seemed a little odd and even. well, funny to me that your half sister's name is Eve, which is only one letter away from even. And I think her name was even. That's where we. Oh, it is. It is even. Oh, Eve might have been her like you know, her fake name. No, her very creative. Like I have a mustache and I'm obviously evil. Name. Oh, uh, <laughs> alter. What is it? Uh, alter ego. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I had a question. And I forgot what it was. Fuck. It's okay. It'll come back to me at some point. While you're thinking of that, mm-hmm. uh, Dravian gifted another 20 buckaroos yep. for a super chat. Thank you so much, Dravian. Uh, he says, ships away and ships ahoy. Chilling and watching the Chaos crew is always a joy. Oh, Thank nice. you so much. <laughs> so it's a joy to have these. you here, Dravian. I really appreciate all the support tonight. It's a tribute to Pirate Valoth. <laughs> yes. It's Captain Valoth. It is Captain Valoth. Throws up Don't you oh, forget it. Get it. Yeah, exactly. uh, you, you might you might not have been able to hear because you were in silence, but um, <laughs> he did ask uh, me. <laughs> when did this Captain Valoth become a thing? Not that I am disagreeing. He does fly the ship the entire time. <laughs> he, so. uh, you haven't noticed that he shows up sometimes? Like his posture changes? 
He changes his hair. Oh, like the whole like pirate and he, the not yeah, pirate thing sometimes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Stuff like that. We yeah. discussed this last yes. time. Yeah. No, I definitely. When did you discuss this? Don't remember the whole time when I realized. I don't. I don't. No, I did not. No, we, no, we didn't. Okay. Yeah. We oh, talked we did. About I did. I, no, I, well, I, I didn't explicitly. Um, you don't mention every aspect. You were of talking this. about this in front of. Is that your Kish? sister? Kish. Fr- oh, Kish. Oh, we never, yeah, dis- we never, we never oh, determined that listen, relationship. I, even yeah. I don't fully understand the mechanics of how this works. I mean, this is not a, a, a science as how much as I would like it to be. But why Kish? don't you want Kish to know about it? I wasn't sure why she was here at no. that time. How do is you there... pick which one you want to be? Well, when I meditate at night, I I just focus on one of them. So on there's not essence. like a rampant murderer of Aloth we need to be concerned about. Well, there might be. I haven't come across him yet. So well, I seem to think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that is interesting. That that I, is a possibility. Yeah. I seem to think that because you said all these guys, all, all these other Valoths died in their timelines, so their timelines cease to exist. Yes, right? and their essence is just afloat in the the grand expanse of the multiverse. So hopefully, so killer murderer Valoth is just staying alive because he has murdered everybody. Well, else. and I choose which one I they they do not inhabit me. I. I borrow their power. You told us that about the For staff, now. too. Well, yes, but I'm not... I, I, I dropped the staff of warning. I'm like, I'm not cursed anymore. I'm not talking about that staff. <laughs> <laughs> the staff clatters onto the deck. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm yeah. not actually holding it. But yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I drop, like, my spellbook or whatever I'm holding right now. I'm like, but I'm not cursed right now. Well, since you don't have a staff uh, anymore... Sorry to twist that knife. Um, I don't. It's probably need, for the best. I don't need the staff anymore. So uh, here, you take it. He'll, hand it to you. He'll take it and he'll. And then I like will, posture like he was with the other one and like. While you're doing that, <laughs> I'm going to slap the bejesus out of you. <laughs> The and staff warns me, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to be attuned to it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so you're so you just, so does it start getting odd? Yeah. <laughs> he's a t- yeah, because <laughs> it's a danger against your ally. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> we are stretching yeah. the mechanics of oh, D&D right. thin, you guys. I remember so as I, I slap ask. you, it hits me. <laughs> yeah, it was bo- both of us take a hit. <laughs> I remember what I was going to ask. Oh, yeah. So, do we think that... Alex is typing back, but do we think that Eve... Oh, I thought she went under those tunnels a long time ago. You're thinking of his old day. No, his old day. Thank you. Okay, yeah. I was going to ask if we thought that Eve had died in the tunnels and was brought back. No. But she was brought back we also, before she went We also the met tunnels. Eve at the mill stacks. She, we, she brushed yeah. past us. Oh, she, we saw her at the mill okay. stacks. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking of his old day. Okay. Yeah, no, that was I know they, they they were they were also at one point we did think they were like the same do, person, but I do like, have a you poses in that question it makes me ask the question: Why did this wizard or this ancient evil that now why did it pick on why yeah. why why pick the vendetta yeah against me I'm and my family why they got Eve. Right. Like that of seems all people. super personal. Yeah. I mean, your mother was a hero, was she not? not why wouldn't, why wouldn't they have brought the mom back? She was a hero over there. Like Yes, but... Or she used to be a hero here, then was banished and, like, disgraced and... And redeemed herself by saving that town, if I'm not mistaken, right? In the East? Like, yes. Well, I guess what I'm getting at is... So. Her lineage is obviously powerful. And... Her first child, your 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 half sister, was killed before her time. Maybe a vengeful spirit, right? But maybe one who would still see your mom as a disgrace, rather than having redeemed herself. Her memories cut short whenever your mom herself still believed that Imsford was. Do we know how Eve died? Originally, like, do we know for sure she was brought back? Well, her name was on the That's the list of people who died. Yeah. In what? In I'm um, in innocent. In the Radiant Pyre. In the Radiant yeah. Pyre. My my father and Before we jumped into the lane. and my half sister. Both their names were on the Radiant Pyre. So Ivan was your well, dad? her father. 
her, her father. father. That's not my okay. father. Yeah. So that was which was also explaining why fell. she was like she was a different type of ASMR. Makes sense. Is that when the tower fell? Is that what mm -hmm. we're talking? Okay. Okay. So she died in that, and then somebody we are pretty sure it was old boy brought her back recently. Owen well, or Descartes. Um, or in my vision with with Eve or with a uh, Zave. That's what she said. I was I asked her and she said very powerful magic brought Okay, so that was her cool. back okay. as a vengeful spirit. So it could just be the fact that she was vengeful one that she died before her time, second that her her mother abandoned her people, her her own daughter. Mm. You know, that that mm. could be why they chose her. There's just a lot of vengeance. And again, your your mother ended up being quite the powerful that's a good person. point. Yeah. Especially being an ASMR. Or so, Drizad. Just a quick. Are there a lot of ASMRs around? You, having lived in Benara for a time, right. would know that actually they're 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 more common there. Uh, but there there are a few in Imesford that you've seen in your journeys through. Yeah. You know that uh, in both places, really, they're, they're uh, well-respected, um, not necessarily racially, but a lot of them, um, their lineages are, are blessed by divine means. Okay. Do we know who Tillywith's dad was or the previous ruler before? Yes. What was his name? A Grievant. Gravent. Gravent. <laughs> Every Gravent. single Gravent. time. I was trying to find it in my notes. But uh, it's because oh, there's a Pokemon there called Greedent. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, my brain goes there every single time. Hmm. Yeah. So, Drizad. Yes, Flora. Now that we kind of know what happened to your wares. Right. Well, sort of. Right. What is your, like, your end goal? Because, like, previously, you just wanted to get the wares. Or is that still your... Oh, yeah. Like, Drizad still definitely wants to get the obsidian back. It is very valuable to the people of Hrafheim. Granted, we have mountains of it, technically, but you know what I mean. It is, it's complicated. It's also a tarnish but on... Beyond that, yes, it is a very much a pride thing for Drizad, mm. for both myself personally and I would imagine all of my people. It's not... Um, it's just that you were wronged. Well, we were wronged. We were tricked. I mean, I'm kind of used. glad it happened because mm -hmm. you know I made the good friends out of all of mm -hmm. you but once I make that right I do not know I there's not might travel and learn more about smithing than just from the dwarves of Rafheim I think you should do that yeah I really enjoyed learning how to make the sun steel yes. I mean, we visited I mean, many a, a great forge in our travels already. Yeah. There's also got to be other materials out there. And you see Drizad go, <gasps> no. Unless things change, Drizad knows what he will do. Did you see that other armor that lady had? I've only seen that one other time. No. What was it? It's uh, adamantine. Oh, oh, Drizad did see that, but he completely ignored it. You know yeah. what that's made out of, right? Adamantium. No. <laughs> made out of uh No, it's made yeah, no. It's not the wares. No, it's made out of uh rocks that fall from the sky. Meteors. Does, would Drizad know what a Make a make a uh a smart a check. science check. No, a we'll say science check. Yeah, I'll say history. Science time with Brett. <laughs> we don't use history a Ten. Lot. You know what a meteor is, but you've definitely never seen one. You don't know the details of yeah. uh, harvesting metals from them, for the sh for sure. So you're telling Drizad mm -hmm. that rocks fall from the sky. Yeah. And they have... Fiery rocks. No, right. I've heard of them. <laughs> but do you take metal out of them? Uh, yeah, they're made out of, out of, like, iron ore type of things. This metal called adamantium. Where do you get this knowledge? I've I've only seen it before. What? Where? Uh, back in Turso. I'm surprised they didn't see that. Some guy in town had a set of this armor. You could never get a good hit on him. 
No, but the where have you seen it being forged before? Oh, not forged. Just I recognize the metal. Oh, hmm. Well, that is something the Rizad will have to. And you see, he pulls out his little notebook that he carries. <laughs> <around>. <laughs> I did not know that it has metal in it. I it, mean, metal it, does come from the earth, right? So, rocks falling from the sky. That is literally a contradictory statement. Come from other Earths? Well, but the, it's dirt, and that is also dirt. It's just space dirt. You're telling me there's... Space dirt. Space dirt. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I mean, Not like astral plane dirt. Space dirt. I'm sure there's also astral plane dirt. Hmm. Mm. Don't know if that has metal in it. <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably has worms in it. Maybe there's odd will take worms. a level in philosophy. Not worm. <laughs> <laughs> but so... Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean that. No, I was just going to say. I felt like y'all were done. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I was, I was literally going to just be like, so that is that is what I think I will do once we are done. I'm assuming we will stick together at least for a little bit. Well, yeah, I just, I I didn't know what your, what's the word, ambitions, motives were? Both. Yeah. <laughs> I know There's I couldn't a think of them of and then I caught all of them. Knowledge, mostly. Okay. I like to make stuff. Well, we're going to get those wares back. Look, I made 20 ball bearings. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we Actual that. wares. Yeah. Actually. The sun steel? <laughs> You're having all kind of epiphanies over there. <laughs> Can we just say I have, like, sh- do I have string? We have some, if not. Definitely. Yeah, between some of you. Okay, I'm taking three of the ball bearings, so I have 17. Okay. I'm taking three of the ball bearings and making bracelets for the three of you. Oh, that's sweet. And I will give you all a little oh, gift it's from like Dazan. It's a friendship, <laughs> it is friendship <laughs> bracelet. It, it is a, it is like friendship bracelets. <laughs> except I will not wear one because my scales will rip it off. Um, mm. As as you guys don these these new bracelets and sort of like jingle them okay. from side to side, when the sun steel beads strike, they resonate in a way that you you don't quite. Um, expect them to being like small little metal beads. You expect them just to clink and clatter. Is it like little uh, but magnets, the, the, sort of. And like the <laughs> clink, like sort of like uh, holds for a yeah. moment instead of just uh, dissipating really quickly. Yeah. I'll, I'm gonna I'll, fashion one to hang on his bag, so yeah. he has one too. I'll wrap. I'll it, wrap my you, sword on my shield to see if it makes the same noise because they're it's made out of sun steel. Uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. they they make. Uh, a similar the noise, but they're, yeah, yeah, it's the resonance like carries the same. Um, Drizad, hearing this, you certainly notice it as well. Probably b- more than more than anyone. Uh, no, you cannot melt my shield down <laughs> for engine parts. Why not? Well, <laughs> if the ship no. does fail, at least we have a backup. That is- <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <Why? laughs> No. You put that information out there. I know. Valof didn't notice it <laughs> I know. until you said it out loud. <laughs> we got it at 20. Woo! Another one. Heck Dravian, yeah. thank, thank you for the you. nat 20. Now we, now we can use the one that's in that's there. Yeah. Big <laughs> yeah. 20. Yeah, always got to have one for emergencies. <laughs> always got to have a backup. <laughs> break, break, break D20 in case of emergencies. Are we long resting during this? Uh, Yeah, you would. I okay, specifically would. remember making a note. And I don't find it. Okay, I'm going to bed. Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, I need to remember all the things that I've given people. So I would say that you guys sleep through a large portion of the day, but maybe wake up around uh, uh, sunset or dusk, knowing that you're going to be approaching your destination around that time. Um, All of you on deck notice as you sail through the blanket of gray, uh, your surroundings, uh, what little you can see, begin to slip into the wash, and even the sounds and smells of the wild seem to disappear. Blindly, the ship continues forwards into the unknown with no hint of what may come next. The moments seem to stretch into minutes. To hours. Your bated breath finally escapes as the horizon begins to take shape and the mist begins to clear away slightly. The landscape before you baffles your senses in a mesmerizing display of shifting colors and ephemeral shapes. Wisps of uh, ethereal energy dance in intricate patterns, weaving through the air like prismatic curtains of light. The boundaries of uh, between the forest's leaves and uh, branches blur and waver, giving the impression of a world in constant flux. 
you feel that you may be nearing the border here. Uh, is there anything that you're doing specifically, or you're just continuing forward? I would like to potentially hand the helm off if someone else would take it, so I can ritual cast detect magic. Okay. I was going to sit at the front of the ship and meditate as we go through. Is okay. Matavi still there in this little he shrine? Is, but I want to specifically meditate because when we talked to Vinle, mm-hmm. we kind of got confirmation that this could be similar to the Feywild. So I would like to yeah. try to sit and meditate and just see if the energy is like feel the same or similar Okay. to maybe help us figure out like if I can help in any way knowing when the entrance will close or, you know, the Sure. Like so, um, as you sit down to meditate and, and you said your detect magic, you begin to ritual cast, uh, the two of you make uh, a very keen observation uh, about the sky. You especially because you have the sky map that was given to you by Vinlay, uh, however rough it was. You can see that the moon is uh, really only a sliver right now, and it's beginning to dip below the horizon. Mm-hmm. Uh, and as it does, the only source of light in the sky right now is the scar itself. Uh, the, the, the myriad of, of stars shining even more brightly through the scar than the actual sky begin to sort of reflect off of these iridescent curtains and you see the colors and the vibrance being pumped to levels that you didn't know that uh, existed. Um, and in that moment, you feel that it is very similar to the Feywild. Uh, those, those vibrant colors uh, remind you somewhat of what you experienced there. Uh, and so you begin to uh, focus your mind and become intimately aware of of these similarities you begin to look for any sort of arcane effects i will have everyone roll wisdom saving throws <laughs> you two get advantage because you're like aware of it is it also against being charmed do i get double advantage it is not <laughs> wisdom saving throw yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> the same <laughs> 25 24 whoa oh, God. i thought that was a blast of bad I have a plus 7 <laughs> I rolled high to 15. Okay. Um, As you feel something shift uh, in the air around you, you become immediately more aware of your thoughts and how they may shape the world, not just indirectly through your actions, but directly through the very presence of your thoughts. Uh, Valoth, you actually... Uh, well, that means that wasn't high enough. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I rolled a 26. Because I got plus one, so I you actually feel in a weird way as you're casting Detect Magic, your perspective shifts out of body for a moment, and you can see the ship flying overhead. Um, you can see yourself. You stand up and like sort of look around for a moment, and as you make eye contact with yourself in the sky, uh, the effect ends. It's only for a moment and you feel like you had this weird out of body experience, an experience that you really have only felt in dreams up till now. And it was distinctively like myself. It wasn't like an alternate. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, nevertheless, you continue ahead uh, as you uh, continue to meditate uh, and focus on the energies around you. Uh, I will have you make a nature check. Uh, and I'll have you make uh, an Arcana check. Even though your Detect Magic should give you some stuff, I feel like this is a little different than just a magic item or effect. Just such bad rolls. Thank God I have a plus eight. Um, that is... I mean, do I take it? What do we have plus one? I'm taking a 17. Okay. We don't have any more pluses. Uh, (laughs) I'm surprised your nature's not higher. It is low. Yeah. I don't have anything. It's because it's intelligence. Uh, Yeah, I would leave mine as is, as a um, 11. Okay. Valoth, you see a a faint glimmer of of, uh, transmutation and divination magic all around you. Um, Some necrotic energies even below in the mist, but you get the sense that the ethereal plane itself, uh, just with how unfamiliar it is to you, 
may be picking up as magic within your spell. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't see anything that would that would register specifically as a magical effect. Uh, not in your immediate surroundings. Uh, Flora, you said your roll was a 17. Um, co- accompanied with what you've been told thus far, your experiences in the Feywild and your now experience in the ethereal plane uh, as you, you, you confirm that you have definitely crossed over. You intimately understand the relationship between the ethereal and the Feywild. Um, you can get to the Feywild quite easily from the Ethereal. It's almost like this uh, 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 ambiguous past pathway uh, or, or hallway of doors that, that can get you to the, the Feywild, uh, the Material Plane, um, the, uh, the, the Outer Planes even, potentially, mm-hmm. uh, the Elemental Planes. Uh, so it, it feels... Uh, you feel connected uh, in a way that you haven't since your time in the Fae. I would like to just add a little bit of flavor. Sure. That uh, my skin is going to be a little bit brighter. Nice. And be like a, like a little more like vibrant and glowy. Like. Yeah. Yeah. You actually maybe see like some of the colors reflected yeah. off of these curtains dancing across your skin. Yeah. Maybe almost as blush on your cheeks, you know, as it, mm-hmm. as it washes. Like it almost looks like Flora belongs here. Yeah. Yeah. So you're dead. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I might be. Dun dun dun. Some of the ethereal's for us. Yeah. <laughs> Is it really? Uh, it's 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 like spectral ish. So traditionally in D and D, it's supposed to be more like like, uh, like ghosts and, and oh. afterlife spirits that haven't quite moved on, the ability to pass through things. Got it. Uh, in in my flavor, it's a little bit more than that, but you guys will discover for yourself yeah. soon enough. Uh, so as we wake up and we're in this magical place um having reflected on the um commu- the 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 uh, vision that i had yesterday mm-hmm. i'm going to focus on the new sword that i have and make it my hex weapon and this is the first time i've had ever zave shield and sword and when I'm focusing on it, it's almost like it bounces to my hand. Yeah. And my ma- my magic, my green glow is magic, kind of goes over it. Feels right. Yeah. Feels right. <laughs> you you uh, grasp the the, uh, the hilt of, of your mother's sword, uh, remembering as uh, a younger uh, child and, and even a younger man, uh, the feeling of it in, in your palm before perhaps uh, feeling like it was it was heavier at that time uh, now the, the weight feels balanced it feels uh, uh, fit for you and it feels uh, faded for you in that sense so Baloth as you continue to focus on uh, the magic's around you you pull your eyes towards the horizon as you see the ephemeral city of Mistkeep emerging before you a hauntingly beautiful vision of ancient elven architecture the buildings both solid and ghost-like shimmer with a gentle translucence their edges blurring into the mists that enshroud them Towering spires reach skyward, fading into the dreamy haze, while delicate bridges arc over uh, a uh, ground level that you can now see, connecting the various structures like a giant web. The city seems both present and distant, a timeless sanctuary woven from the fabric of the dreams of reality. As we get closer, does it become more solid? Like as we kind of like cross into. Make a, make a perception check. Um, I only groaned because that's, this is a role that I would have been fine with doing bad on. And I got a 23. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, darn, darn. So having flown through 
uh, you know, this much fog over the last couple of days, you're used to seeing structures sort of almost fade in and out and almost and look sort of transparent in their silhouette. And, and as you draw near to Mistkeep, you almost expect these structures to gain some sort of uh, permanence, um, but they never do. They continue to sort of wisp and, mm-hmm. and, and okay. uh, uh, sort of drift into the mists that surround them. If I had to compare it to anything, think of like the the city in the the Lord of the Rings trilogy, the the uh, ancient civilization in the mountain where Aragorn goes to fulfill their promise. And there's like the ghost city of like it's it's that it's like got this sort of greenish blue sheen over everything, mm-hmm. and and uh, you can literally see gaps in some of the structure where it's like being wisped away. Are there people like walking around or? With your perception check, you can definitely see some people, uh, one in particular near the outskirts as he begins to, to eye you, um, grabs hold of a small, uh, a medium-sized dog next to him, uh, which appears to be wearing a collar. Is there anything that you're doing in this moment? I'm waving at that guy. Yeah, whenever he sees us, I'm like going to... Silly wave at that dude. I'm going to start to bring the ship down um, and do my best to try to like be like... We're, we're, we're friends. If we get close enough, I'll message him and be like, we're, we're here for, for information um, and passing through. We know we don't have much time before we, we need to get back out. Upon your approach, and as the ship begins to slow, because Odd is now piloting, and I imagine you sort of like convey this to oh, him. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Fireball. As the ship begins to slow and you turn to, <laughs> to bring your gaze back to this individual, um, a sudden opalescent flash beckons a four-legged creature from out of thin air as it snarls and flares its teeth at you. <laughs> the otherworldly glow of its dog-like jowls sort of hanging on either side. It barks deeply, careful not to avert its gaze upon all of you as another form steps into view as this uh, elven man releases uh, the dog's collar. Um, it's Lucy. You can see uh, he, he's, he like wields two uh, rounded discs uh, in one hand as he, he takes one from the other. And this is in the city, right? He Part is the on the deck of your ship. Oh. I but mean, I mean, he was, I mean, when he was on the ground, he was, it was in he the was city. He was in the city. Okay, okay. Wait, he just teleported? We're the fighting. dog teleported him. And he, oh, he stands the there with, with these two sort of circular humans. blades at the ready. The dog or the man? The man. Who's down on the ground? No, man a, on ship. Everybody's dog. on the ship. Everybody's, everybody's on, the on the ship. The ship. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> um, but, but the dog <laughs> is the one that brought everyone onto the ship. Ah, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh puppy. I'm like going to pet him. He stays your hand before uh, you draw too near. Return from whence you came, material dwellers. These lands will not keep you. I don't. Yes, we, we don't. We don't plan we, on staying. I don't, I don't think we can. Dweller. We we, 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 don't, we do not plan to stay long. Um, we come for information. There's um, there's something very evil that may have originated from this town when it still existed in the material, um, and we seek knowledge on how to stop it. You will find no such knowledge here. You're very insight quick to just that. dismiss us. Okay. This guy's full of. <laughs> there you go. Uh. I Not that good. A, I <laughs> but I mean, that's 21, 21. 21. Experience in non material planes. So I believe I can be of help. Make a persuasion check with I'm advantage. I'm still glowing. Uh, but you can tell that uh, it's not necessarily that he, he just, may be lying. He, he, yeah. he wants you gone regardless. Yeah, he just wants, yeah. 15. Okay. You um, said with advantage, right? Yeah. Perhaps you have some experience, and yet you are still an outsider, um, and you are not allowed within the bounds of the city. I'm going to say, we believe Dekarin is back. Who? If that name doesn't mean anything to you, then we are in grave danger. We're talking to the wrong person. Yes. Yes. It means nothing to me. Insight check. Twenty-seven. Go. <laughs> Not only does he seem to be telling the truth, and it means nothing to him, uh, but also he seems to have a very deep uncaring about the plight of the material. Mm. Elwind may have brought him back. 
Now that is a name I do recognize. Unfortunately, it will not grant you entrance to the city. The queen has forbade it, and so I will enforce her rules. Can we talk to the queen? No. You would not grant us an audience to speak with her. You are welcome to push past my blockade as he like sort of motions around him. The ship, I imagine, is now like sort of landing. You see not that many guards around. You're, just you're driving. Commerce. Yeah, I'm looking at you like I got my <laughs> hand on the throttle. I'm looking at like we, we honestly can't fly for very long. Know that I exist as a warning. I mean, we don't want to. We w- really do not want any. We don't want to step on your toes. And we want to be by in all and out means, as fast If you as push possible. past me, know that you will fall at the hands of our queen. She is mighty, and she is ready to fell any outsiders that disobey her law. We're, we're we don't want to disobey anything. We want to seek an audience, and like, we think we think she would be very interested in the information that we have. Right. I know you may not care for the material or anything that exists there, but. Like it or not, you are tied to it. It affects you too. And yeah, everything is at stake, not just the material. It's originating there, but everything. The, the plight and the tribulations of material things have not affected us for many, many years. We have seen to it. Because when we have intervened, we have been wronged. We believe they're harnessing your mist. They may harness it to their... They will. Who Doesn't wronged I, you? You're a very well, confusing person. I'm going to look to Autumn and say, land it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say, the, uh. well, I'm going to say that the queen will come and we can explain it to her. He obviously does not know okay. the severity of the right, situation. We do not want to fight. I put the, I put the ship there. Whenever you say push past floor. your blockade. Can I take one of the turtles? Do you mean if we like try to continue walking turtle. past you, you are going to attack yeah. us, or like do I physically I just need to like move you out of my way? I am not a fool. I will not fight. I uh, fight. I cannot win. I see that you are capable. You outnumber me. Well, thank you. <laughs> but you should know. I mean, we again, don't want to fight. I am here as a warning. I keep saying you enter that. our city against the rule of the queen. You will perish. How do we do it with the rule of the queen? You do not. Well, then we're landing. Can you let the queen know we are here and would like to speak with her, even if she has to come to the gates? Mitch, yeah. Uh, yeah, mention everything that we've said. Make a persuasion check. Do you have I literally <laughs> just said that. <laughs> <laughs> you did, but it's like, I'll allow you to to, to assist. Oh, so. You. Okay, so. Because yeah. you're right. You did say it earlier, but ah. this is like further in the conversation. You're making him more pliable as it goes. I don't mean to steal that from you. <laughs> good. He has better persuasion, though. I know he does. Um, I mean, we have two nat 20s at, in the chat. At least, yeah. <laughs> Take it. Take one. Oh, this is definitely worth it. Yeah. Okay, Take nat one. 20 then. To avoid a combat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll He's, fight this guy right here right now. <laughs> it's not him. It's the queen that I'm worried See, about. I don't know what I'm she is. right there with you. Yeah. <laughs> he looks down at the hound. Fine. Wait upon the outskirts. I will return with news. I will bring word to my queen of what you've said of Elwind and this Dekarin. If she wishes to grant you an audience, you shall know it. Also, we've have we, we've heard the name the Ashen, right? Yeah. You definitely have. Yes. Yeah. Also yeah. the Ashen, if that means anything to her. Those are the... The faction. The names involved. that we've, we've been... I will carry down. these names through the mist, and you will hear back from me shortly. As he grabs the collar of the dog, you see, uh, once again, the uh, sort of opalescent flash uh, as the mist sort of like swirls in that area, and he uh, disappears. Uh, Your minds begin to wonder exactly how this magic may work, and how uh, the queen uh, may be uh, uh, responsible for sinking mist keep into the ethereal, and as your imaginings begin to uh, spin wild. I need all of you to make another wisdom save. Advantage again? Flat roll, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirteen. Oh, better 13. than my last one. Eighteen. Uh, Eighteen. Twenty-one. Okay. Uh, odd. Roll a uh, d20 and a d4. What did you roll? Fifteen, I think. Oh, four and a six. Fifteen last time. So okay. Six on the twenty, four on the. So it either goes up or it's different. 
Well, we both rolled 15s at both. While he's looking stuff. it up, what's everybody's AC? Not you, Odd. What's 17. Your? 19. Oh, okay. What's yours? 19. As he teleports away, I'm going to reach over. Oh, no, you have your tattoo, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Never mind. Uh, odd. <laughs> As you continue odd. to imagine this, you see an apparition in in the woods at first. But as it kind of like ducks behind a tree, it looks to be small, either a child or a small uh, humanoid. Um, It ducks behind the tree, you lose sight of it. And then as you turn, you see it upon the the front deck, just sort of like staring at you. A girl boy. At this distance, you can tell that it is uh, at least a creature with long hair. Uh, but you can't tell if it's a boy or a girl. It's that it's young. It's a child. Come play with yeah. us. Yeah. Hi. We don't. Do, see do, it, yeah, right? do we see him say hi? You would see that. Do we see what he's saying hi to? You do not. What do oh. you? Valve <laughs> would honestly just be like he's making friends yeah. and wouldn't even. Re- but I'm. I'm like, curious. what's your name? Literally, who are you talking to? The people this. they left. There's a little girl or. There's a little them on the front deck. I slowly like edge him out of the steering the ship. <laughs> <laughs> you like, said maybe, maybe I should deck, fly. Huh? Mm-hmm. And then um, we're down. I'm like walking around, walking up to her. Like, hey, where'd you come from? Odd. Uh, um, don't leave the ship. Yeah, especially if you are seeing th- if you're talking to some random girl that does not exist. Can I try to? She's it. right there, and I describe her to them. You can. How are you trying? Um, I just descri- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make a perception check with disadvantage. <laughs> the vibes, vibes are, are an imprecise sense. <laughs> there's got to be a perception. There's got to yeah. be a vibe. Let's check. get a high wisdom. She does. <laughs> then <laughs> fifteen. Yeah. Then you a- you occasionally catch like parting wisps of mist. In the area where Odd is looking, there appears to be something there, but you you can't see. Mm. Mm. And she's still not talking. Not talking, just watching. Okay. Do I see anything with my detect magic? Is there anything like where he's talking at? I would tell. I would describe her to you. You would see maybe like a small mass of like. Uh, uh, Necrotic energy Fuck. in that in that area, but you wouldn't be able to see like yeah, a definite yeah. form. Hey, well, there's definitely something there. Um, yes. It's definitely like a spear. Uh, we can't see whatever it is. I can see some magic there. Is it like oh. moving or anything? I can, I can feel the vibe changed over there. <laughs> yeah, it's colder. A yeah. Vibe, yeah, I don't a vibe trust check. That. <laughs> a vibe check is not good. Mm-mm. Not good. <laughs> if she's not talking, I don't know. And y'all are saying y'all can't see her, like. I, do you need help? I'm gonna kind of wave my hand <laughs> through the the thing, the the mm-hmm. necrotic energy. As you see Valoth go to do this, and he like goes to put his hand through, it disperses into like a a, a poof of like smoke. The the vision just sort of twists I'm into going the mist to look around over it. Here, and as you look over there, it is there. Ah, you got that? Is there hat? two of them now? Nope, that, just the you one. Got that hat. It's already on my head. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can you put put that on? See if you see. So, uh, so I don't know if I have a floater that looks like a little girl, or something. Trzada, blame you. I just (laughs) want you to know. Trzada did not do anything. Uh, you, you, the only person with you're the only person who can't see in the dark. You're always waving around that light bringer, and it's blind to me and I. And now I have eye damage. Thanks, Trzada. Way to go. Can you? Can he still see it with the hat? With the <laughs> these hat on him? You put. Sure, I put it on him. I don't know. Uh, these hat. Uh, <laughs> 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 I did not to be confused. I also like nice. that his name is Dell. Like his name is longer. <laughs> Dell is a nickname, and, and we've shortened yeah. it to even further yeah. to uh, D. You, you, Not to you, be confused with his nuts. D sat on these nuts. These yeah. hats. Uh, <laughs> you put the hat on, but it doesn't appear to affect what you're seeing. Get this off of me. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, 
as you kind of turn your your gaze back to the rest of the party, uh, you see that same flash of bright light as the uh, elven war warrior reappears in front of you. She will grant you an audience. How long was he gone? We do. She would. Yeah, like what's our timer looking like? He would have been gone for about ten minutes. Okay. So we've been here for I maybe asked, fifteen. I minutes. asked him. I'm like, do you see that little girl? I see signs of a spirit that has attached itself to you, oh, which is right. precisely why material beings are not allowed in miskeep. You bring danger upon all of us. We really do not want to stay long. Yep. We just need information and then we're leaving. I understand. So let's go talk to the queen. So this, she's my friend forever? Usually they're harmless. They'll stick around for a number of hours. Uh, so do we grab the collar and we, we go there? Follow me. On foot. Ugh. Okay. I, I tell the little girl, I'm like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> now that she, I know it's, it's just a wayward spirit, like. She doesn't walk to follow you. Right. Like, she's you close. just get the sense that, like, she's there. And, like, occasionally she sort of, like, pops out from behind something. Yeah. I'm, to, like, I'm continue gonna, watching. I'm, like, I'm all excited about it. I'm like, yeah. my little friend. <laughs> I know we're, like, following with this guy. Mm hmm. But I want to cast Pass Without a Trace. Okay. Just in case something goes wrong. You don't want anything attaching to you? That. But also, <laughs> in case something goes wrong, we can, like, hide if we okay. need to. So, that is up. Fair enough. Are you guys... I mean, he's moving, like, well, somewhat I'll be moving briskly. Well, at his... This is more of, like, a preemptive thing. Got it. Okay. So, um, I'm... Less for the stealth bonus yeah. and more not to leave any tracks. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Um... He takes you through uh, the city, and, and as it was upon your approach, the structures don't appear to gain any more uh, 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 permanence mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in the space. You can clearly see through them, um, and occasionally you might even catch glimpses of sort of like shadowy figures maneuvering through uh, the city that aren't solid humanoid figures as yeah. you all are. Um, eventually he... Uh, you come upon a uh, a very large elven tower uh, near the back of the settlement, uh, right next to a cascading uh, waterfall, which itself makes no sound as it strikes the bottom uh, of the, uh, the sort of gully. The river continues to flow, um, and off to the other side of that same fall is a much smaller tower that has stairs leading up to it. Um, he guides you up the stairs, and then you cross a... Uh, a uh, a bridge that is uh, that same sort of transparent material, you're almost hesitant to step on it because it feels like you would be able to fall through into this waterfall below you. Um, but as he walks effortly, effortlessly ac across, you follow his lead and continue to uh, uh, take steps towards this larger tower. In a way, you feel uh, uh, like you should remember this place. It, it captures your imagination in a way that few others have. It doesn't feel dissimilar to Vidnica, but it, it, it's like a sort of ghastly, shadowy form of that. Um, and as you sort of call back into memory the city of Vidnica, uh, your time there, and how similar these structures look to you, I need all of you to make wisdom saves again. <laughs> This is fun. Is <laughs> no, it? No, that's, that's that's not a good that's not a good roll. I think I'm about to have a friend. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Our friends can be friends. Yeah. Twenty three. Twenty three. Ten. Nineteen. Uh, I'm keeping my ten. If you got better, <laughs> join us. <laughs> I have a 12. Be our okay. friend. I will tell you, this is this is a voice. random list that I've created. Both of you roll a d20 and a d4 at the same time. And Val, you can tell me first what you rolled. 18 and 2. Okay. 18 and 1. Whoa! Interesting. Interesting. Our friends are going to be like... They're besties. Like, they're already besties. good friends. It's, it's yin and yang. Either that or they're enemies. Either that right. or like one of us got something really bad and one of us got something really good because right. Alex felt Spirit bad while he was making his list yeah. <laughs> after making a good. Yeah. Valoth, as you're walking oh. across the bridge, you... It's you. You got the bad thing. You stumble for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> and you actually feel the staff of warning begin to fall over the bridge into the water below. 
you instinctively reach out and the staff halts. And you guide it back to your grasp. I'm a freaking Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the robes, bro. You are under the effects of the, uh, uh, well, you're under the effects of the telekinesis spell for as long as it lasts. You are a Jedi. <laughs> Uh, t- intelligence is your spellcasting ability modifier for the spell. Uh, oh, Drazad, you said that. an 18 with one. Yes. Ooh, is mine a familiar? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I know. For, for however long it sticks around and it doesn't do anything. So. I, I am taking this little girl is coming back with me. It's an, uh, it's a, it's no, an unseen ain't. servant. <laughs> can't take commands. Um, Drazad. During this time that you've been walking through the city, and really ever since you've entered the ethereal plane, everything has looked quite dim to you. If these buildings didn't glow somewhat, you might have it a hard time seeing. Mm-hmm. And so you might have taken out Lightbringer and, and shine a mm-hmm. bit of light, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm blind! <laughs> as you lose track of your thoughts Good. and you continue to walk, you see that Lightbringer is leaving a trail of light that eventually catches up to you. You move your hand in front of it, and it takes a moment for the light to reach your palm. Uh, light in your immediate area uh, now moves at 30 feet per second. It is not an instant. The speed of light is not a thing for you anymore. Forever? Mo- well, just, I mean, maybe for right now. Oh, wait, what do I you... walk up I walk up to show Odd. I'm like, oh, check this out. What do you mean? And the staff just starts, like, spinning in <laughs> front of my hand. Oh, okay, if I'm I like, move this, how'd you do that? It's gonna move. I'm just, but it's this if place. This were happening, it would move the like, screen would like I smear. Would this and then no, screen. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm like. So is that just? Th- so does that mean I'm moving in like super slow motion? No, no, no. You're right. moving. The light, regular, is. The light, the light is, is moving in slow motion. Got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, check this out, and I point at the little girl, and I'm like, sit. <laughs> my my detect magic she is doesn't. My detect magic is gone, so I don't see it. I'm like, stay. That's she very does. impressive. <laughs> yeah, see? He doesn't I see it. I got a I don't. I don't. I don't <laughs> he, he said my thing was cool, so I'm trying to be a yeah. good friend. I tell him. I was like, I tell him. I got a familiar. That's awesome. I know. You. <laughs> you see Drazad still standing over on this side of the bridge, but from behind you, you hear, "Wow, that is really cool." Wait, because the it doesn't it. It's just light, not sound. Yeah, but I'm moving faster than. No, or no, it's catching up to me though. Yeah, right? the, yeah. yeah. So you're 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 where you are, but the light is where you were. Yes. Yeah, the light is taking time to to think about. It like the light has now separated from Lightbringer, and it's it's on like a like a string. Well, it leaves like a trail, followed. basically. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's hard, so you it's you hard walk to up. Picture. <laughs> it's not a cinematographer. <laughs> you, but. you walk up and you're like, <laughs> "What are you all looking at?" And then we see the light come, and then we're like. Oh, that's better. <laughs> like, that's what it would be. You're like, yeah. oh, I see. Your staff is floating. <laughs> it lives its life. Yeah. And in a way, you know, you're used to things being illuminated instantly if you're having trouble seeing. And that extra, like, few seconds that it takes for the light to get there just makes it that much more uh, uh, stressful, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, but eventually, you make it to the other tower across this bridge and begin following up another sp- spiral staircase until finally you reach uh, a... Uh, large chamber near the top uh, there's a door at the, the end of these stairs uh, the guard pushes the doors open and uh, motions for you to go in good luck how long has it been at this point it would have been about 20 I will say 20 minutes I'll give you okay. Okay. didn't take that long to get here so we walk in and, and what do we see the room. I'm not hesitating. I'm going in. Yeah, same. Okay. Oh, gosh. The room before you, a blend of elven architecture and ethereal elements, radiates with a soft, otherworldly light that washes across walls adorned with chiseled imagery depicting the history of a people bound by both beauty and sorrow. At the center of this circular chamber, upon a cold and lonely marble throne, sits the Dusk Queen. Her form is frail. Her presence is almost fading into the mists that surround her. 
and yet her authority is undeniable. Her eyes, empty and hollow, gaze past the physical realm, reflecting a disinterest in the worldly. The apparent weight of eternal vigilance has rendered her aloof to the intrigues of you outsiders. You hear her call. Speak. From here or over there? I think from here, Odd. I think we, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, it might help if I just tell you what we know, um, and then maybe you can provide some extra insight. Um, there's a person uh, named Akarin. Not sure if you know who they are, but I believe... Where did you learn that name? Underneath Zealous, but then also underneath Imsford. And Elwind, I believe, left here to go to your ancestral home, which is under Himesford, and found out about Dekarn, and then wanted Dekarn's power for himself, and then he starts speaking faster, and he just, like, recants the whole everything about, like, Dekarn of the Mist and the giants and all that. He brought him back. He brought all these other (laughs) people back, and we fought him. Yeah. Yeah. As has always been the case, you outsiders bring trouble to our doorstep. How is this Did we? our fault? Wait, it's your people that are on. doing this. You exiled this <laughs> guy. Silence! <laughs> I will aid you. But you must first leave. Wait, how are you? Seek my estranged husband, Arbe. He lives on the outskirts of town. He still cares of the things in your realm, but I have lost the interest. Leave my sight and do not. His name's do Arving. Not return. His name's Arving, and he is on the outskirts where we came from. Arbane. 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 Ah. And. Is he on this side of where it separates? Or are we safe to talk to him for however long and not get trapped in the ethereal plane? She throws a hand up uh, towards the wall of the tower, uh, which is open. Like, you can see the rest of the city. uh, And, like, sort of a ghastly version of her hand uh, uh, moves off of it. As you follow it towards one of those openings, you see it uh, sort of from your perspective, point towards a uh, much smaller tower. It looks uh, very old and dilapidated, maybe even man-made. Um, certainly not resplendent like all these structures and not glowy either. He lives there with his things. And that, to, to me, like that is in this area. Like we'd still be on the clock of like, we need to talk to him quick and get out. Yeah. Gotcha. You'd maybe want to take your ship there, but you'd, you'd get there quickly enough. Okay, well, okay, well um, thanks so much. We'll, we'll be out of your hair. And please, uh, just one thing, one last thing. Please stop blaming all of this on us. We did not do anything. Yes, also, we're trying to stop Elwyn from potentially we're utilizing your you mist. Guys. I have given my trust and given and given, given. I've seen souls who have trusted. I live among them. You all, you all are the same. Okay, that's kind of offensive because we didn't do anything to you, but we'll go find your estranged husband, which I'm sure is estranged for no other reason except that you're just maybe like the best person. Live in a peaceful dream or slip into nightmare. You see her go like she stands from her throne, almost like full Galadriel photo negative. <laughs> like uh, as as uh, you actually feel your feet beginning to slip into the floor, like a bad dream. You are being swallowed by the marble stone beneath you. Um, as as she calms, you sort of raise back up, and she sits. Leave. When that happened. Could I have tried to like hold onto the staff and float the staff so I didn't actually <laughs> sink? <laughs> Make a deck save. Let's we'll see how quick you were with it. Uh, dex twelve. Not you did not. Quick yeah. <laughs> not quick enough. No. I'm like, come on, Lyra, let's go. <laughs> I'm like we are 
Is we, your husband you. nicer than you? And then I'll leave. She, um, she does not answer. I am, the minute I hear Flora open her mouth, I pick up my pace. <laughs> I'm, like, so, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Don't piss off the mean lady. <laughs> I can't imagine why they're estranged. Yeah. Oh, I can, but I, I don't want to piss that one off. Well, <laughs> she's kicking us out anyway. As we go, to, I'll be the last one to leave, and I'll bow, and I'll look up at her, and I'll say, thank you, and we apologize for interrupting. <laughs> I'll turn around, and as I go to walk out, I'll kind of turn and catch her out of my peripheral, and I'll message her, and I'll say, we do not bring trouble. We bring the blessing of forewarning. Take it as such. Make a wisdom saving throw. Slay. Oh, get ready. Now you can float Lightbringer. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, you're, now you're a thrall. One moment. Um, Hold on. Uh, 23. <laughs> oh, you took it. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not trying to be, I'm not trying to be rude or nothing. She's just a bitch. <laughs> Damn. I mean, she, she kind of was. We were like... These are your people that are using your myths These are like, to terrorize our world. Hey, Get we, fucked, hey, dude. Hey, we have a quick question real quick. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like... Yeah. Go find my estranged she said, husband. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Razad, as your message leaves, a strange whispered resonance returns to you. Mm-hmm. And as it embeds deep within your mind, you feel that ghastly chill slip through your entire body as your hand begins to disappear, growing translucent. You're getting back to the future. I mean, more or less. And as you fight against this power, you feel the might of it. You feel the chill upon your spine turning to ice as it releases you. A show of warning as your body reappears. What was she going to do? She was going to make him into a spirit. I just keep walking. She was going to unalive his butt. Oh, do I say it under my breath? No, I don't. Something was going to happen if you didn't take that role. So thanks, chat. You might have just saved Drizzt. Yeah, thank you, guys. (laughs) She's, wow. She's like... So uh, on that note, I will say, you guys make it quickly back to your ship. We'll say it's been about, you know, uh, say 35 minutes. How long do we have? An hour. An hour. An hour. Okay. We've got to get out at the end of the hour. Roughly. Yeah. I kind of like it here. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to take a quick break, and I will take this moment to quickly plug our first campaign. If you guys are interested as to, you know, Miss Keep, uh, and this woman in particular, this is not the first time that she's been interacting with. She was nicer with. last time. Wait, when she did was we meet nicer her? last oh, time. Oh, yeah. She was way nicer uh, last time. When did we meet her? Uh, well, we in Miss Keep. <laughs> I don't remember Same her at all. Same pedigree and everything. I don't remember her <laughs> at all. Uh, anyway, I barely remember Miss Keep. Be on the lookout on the break. We are going to be giving away one of these luck potions. It's got a D20 inside of it. It's from our friends over at pen and paper online.de, not .com. DE, DE. our friends over in Germany. DE. Uh, it is super fun to play with. It's got a little, a lot of little magic swirlies, and we're going to be giving one away to you guys. So uh, go away, ahead and away, enter give the giveaway on the break, yeah. and we'll figure out who won when we come back. Don't go nowhere. Okay, bye. bye. I barely remember. We spent like. <sighs> oh, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't know anyone would be here while the stream was running. Uh, give me a moment to tidy up. Oh, it's much better. Well, um, while you're here, we might as well take a moment to thank all of our members for supporting the channel and bringing this stream to life. Um, a huge thanks to Tides of Mo, Brett Venable, Tabletop Beard, Grim Reefer, Atma Seeker, Justinian of Darkport, Angel Jobert, Will Plays Games, Corey of Darkport, Angel of Darkport, Dravian, Anthony Pace, Drazadi, Memebot69000, Lil Tired, Cohen Vandery, Ian McCart, Giovanna, Drew Blanchard, Aaron B, Matty, Aulus Sinus, Malatach, Maricor and Jeff, Maid of Heart, 
Middle-Aged Malcontent, Brett Gidry, Scotty996, Lori, Message Mirethi, Jaren Hatch, Yevhin Kosten, Roko, Angry Viking, Salty Tiger, Heath Hoxie, Codal, Jake Deck, Rayane Hereth, Sleepy Dude, Nico Tortuga, Hugh, William Marple, Crackpot, Homeless Man Joe, Zedak Longfang, Lars Longscock, Sandslash82, Carolyn Mesco, Yeet Yeet, Rub My Beard, I Splits, Snowy Owl, Tyler Verquin, CW, Mike Gaya, Q Man, Yusuf Yilmaz, Luso American, Big Head Bro, One Eyed Go to 90, Player Lord, Daniel J. Kobe, Charlie Gardner, Midori Peter, Lazy As F, JJ Terra JJ, Christopher Love, Kokung Win, Kendall, Everett McMahon, Moon Goose McQueen, Leo Dos Reis, Maddie, Daniels Jr., Jared, Wild Song, I Like Succubus, Justin Channels, Mark Forgues, Roots, Keegan Prejean, Craig, Curtis Ellis, Maximus Decimus Meridius, Victor Tedesco, and Gilbert Acevedo. <laughs> you know, members get tons of unique benefits as well, like these weekly shoutouts and emojis that they can use in the stream chat, and a heaping helping of chaos points that can be used to, well, perhaps it's better to show you. The most exciting feature for our live streams has come to YouTube. You can now roll dice live to help us in our adventures by using chaos that's built up by watching and interacting with the stream. All you need to do is keep an eye out for earning instructions that appear on our stream and then spend those points by typing in the commands that correspond to the dice you'd like to roll. This feature is always available, no matter what campaign we're playing in, so be sure to hop in and help out our players because, well, they're gonna need it. Greetings to all my bearded brothers out there. I'm Alex, also known as Constructed Chaos on YouTube, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about my friends over at Tabletop Beard. This family-owned beard oil company is run by three brothers that have combined two great loves of mine tabletop RPGs and beard care. And it makes a lot of sense because as I'm sure many of you know, growing and maintaining a healthy beard can be an adventure all its own. I started my quest back before I was even on YouTube, and I guess you could say I was stuck at level 1 for a while. Constantly itching my way through life with a wild and unkempt beard and just trusting hairspray and regular shampoo to get the job done. Believe me, I was rolling nat ones on just about every charisma check I made at that point. But eventually I started trying various beard care products like oils, butters, and balms, and I found some that worked well enough, but none of them really tied into my backstory. Not to mention my wife was constantly complaining about the smell. Then I was put on to the products from Tabletop Beard, and let me tell you, it was a match made in heaven. Or hell, depending on what kind of flavor you prefer. These guys use a premium oil blend of meadow foam seed, rose hip, golden jojoba, argan, avocado, and sunflower oils to create the most high quality product that contains no cheap filler or artificial oils that you typically want to steer clear of. And each scent has been expertly crafted and matched to a familiar TTRPG style so you know exactly the kinds of vibes you're putting out without the scents being too mundane or too overpowering. To top it off, all their products, oils, butters, and balms are made in small batches, so the quality control is top-notch, and so is the customer service. They're always looking for new ways to meet and exceed customer needs, and I've even heard that they have some new ideas cooking up behind the scenes. So consider this your session zero, and take some time to check out Tabletop Beer today. Truly, they're the only starting equipment that you need for your own successful beer care journey. Bear Dritz here, letting you in on a little known ranger secret that'll keep you satiated in the wild, even when you have no rations left. Ew, not that. I'm talking about subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell icon. It's easy to miss the signs of a stream going live if you're not prepared. So make sure to do that and... What was that?
right there, adventurer. We're looking for some deviants that refuse to like this video while they're still watching. You wouldn't happen to know anything about this heinous crime, would you? Well then, as you were, but stay out of trouble. In a world of darkness exists Geramentum, a beacon of hope in the realm of Terra. Our heroes, all with unique pasts, live here and are connected by a common destiny to protect the dream. Welcome to Darkport, an actual play production company. Our inaugural dark fantasy D&D campaign, Gold, Green and Red, is inspired by the lived experience of war medic and GM, Angel Gamel. Subscribe to us now on YouTube. Live episodes stream every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central. It appeared out of thin air when they found it, as if by the will of the planes themselves. A curious and mysterious bubble that has turned up time and time again throughout the ages. Some have studied it all their lives, hoping to unravel its uniquely fascinating magical properties. Many more have used its power for their own, though all falling victim to fate in the end. Now, it calls to you, by chance, by destiny, by desire, it matters not. It calls to you, and it calls to be cast from your palm, so that it might deliver unto you the unknown wonders held within. Just a moment, I'll fetch them for you. The little chaos gremlins. You have people waiting, you know! Welcome back, everyone. It's just me! Oh, <laughs> no, everyone had to go home. No, just kidding. Bye. Uh, I am here because we're about to end our giveaway. Uh, so I'm going to close the entries now. And we're going to pick a winner. Grim Reefer! Yeah. Congratulations on your luck Woo. potion from our friends over at penandpaperonline.de. Shoot me a message over on Discord with your uh, mailing information, and we will have that sent out to you. I'm so glad you won. Feel It feels very deserved. So it does, it uh, does. thank you for participating. Thank you for being here, friend. Uh, thank you, everyone, who has stuck past the break. Uh, we now resume our adventure where last we left off. And we hopefully won't die. Shake the potion, see what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good idea. See what yeah. it is. Let's see that's what it is. It's our is. premonition for the next. It's a nine. That's sick. Oh, that's God. right in the middle. <laughs> it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I should have lied. And no, we'll, it's a nine. We'll it's a nine. Flora's it's wisdom. a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as we rejoin you all, I imagine that we are moving towards the tower that has been pointed out oh, to you. Right. Uh, as we established before the break, it took about 35 minutes for you to get to your ship. I will say it takes you about five minutes to get over there. Okay, so we're at 40 minutes. So we potentially got 20. No. Wait, 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 wait. It took us 35 minutes to get from the queen to the no, ship? No, 35 total. We have spent 35 minutes, then yeah. it took five to... Get from the 35 queen. to get back to the ship. Okay, that's fine. After, after I just wanted to make in. sure you weren't specifying that it was 35 minutes from Her. post queen. Because no. I was like, hey, we got like 10 minutes. We got to <laughs> no, 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 no. go. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean twenty is not a lot, but yeah. So, so we're there. And I'm wasting no time. I'm knocking. As you go to knock on the door, it actually just swings open against the weight of your pounding. Um, uh, Ard, Ardell, or uh, er, Ardell, El, El, I'm sorry, I, we're in quite a rush, and I, I didn't, I didn't quite get your name. You hear a, a clattering from up a set of stairs, as a uh, frail old man, old man comes into view at the top of them. Uh, he holds at his side a staff as he sort of shambles onto one step. Um, he closes his eyes for a moment and breathes out as you see the, the steps themselves begin to sort of 
move like an escalator. Of course, you don't know what an escalator is, but they they <laughs> sort does, of though. telescope into the floor as he then arrives and steps towards you all. I'm sorry. I'm not used to having visitors. Well, welcome. Come in. Yes, the, Come the, in. the queen told us we might find some answers from you here, mm. and I, I hate to be rude, but um, we do not have much time before I, we must leave. I, I am aware. I was uh, made aware of, of, of your coming here, and not by the queen. Um, follow me, as he begins to move towards the steps. Then who told you we were coming? We've we'll like we'll get to that. No, 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 no. We have to, to get to it now. There is no... We oh, will get that. Be cool. Valve yeah. is following him. Yeah, I say. <laughs> we have to, he's the only guy that's going to have answers. We have to follow yeah. him. Um, as you step onto the stairs behind him, uh, they begin to carry you up. And as you move through the tower, dilapidated as it is, the wood beneath your feet is like creaking as the steps maneuver, uh, shaking every once in a while, uh, almost feeling like a mechanical component, even though it is magic. Um, the air in the room that you, you ascend into shifts from the ethereal chill of mist keep to a more palpable warmth. It's filled with the scent of aged parchment and burning sage. The dwelling is cluttered with relics and scrolls, echoes of a lifetime devoted to the pursuit of knowledge and the esoteric connections between realms. Uh, Arbane himself, as he turns to face you, appears as a figure both weary and wise, his posture bent under the, under the weight of uh, unfulfilled aspirations. His eyes clouded and searching, flicker with a restless, uh, a re- restlessness that speaks to a mind of wanderings far beyond the confines of his immediate surroundings, seeking answers in a world slipping further and further from reality as he sort of stares beyond you. So, what have you come to ask me? Well, um, about the mist... Dekarin, the Ashen, Elwind, um, and what they might wish to do with the power that the mist would provide them. And the staff and obsidian. Yes, and, 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 and also why Sarnorin's would they, staff and yeah. Falafar's staff, yes. And then also why would they want to try and start a war with the Nar? You waste no time, of which you have little, so I will do you this do you the same service. I suppose you should know first that uh, Mistkeep was not always just a home, a city. It was a a keep for the land of Mist. It's from where we all hail. Before the Great War of the First Era, the land of Mist existed in much of where Northern Eimsford now resides. We've been there to the ruins. In this time before history, there was one that went by the name Dekarin, eventually adopting the moniker of the Ashen. He was exiled for uh, attempting to manipulate uh, the bounds of life and death itself. We removed him from his seat of power, our lands of mist sent him to the land south. From there, we know only... right? We know sparingly of his experiments, but we... The great Sarnorin and I were able to divine that he eventually made his way to Vidnica, at least his, his followers and descendants. It is believed that he... Well, his his soul was, was shredded. There is no sign, no trace of him here on... On it or on any plane. Are we still talking about Dekarin? Yeah. Who also goes by the Ashen? Yeah. 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 If you say that he has returned somehow, we, we believe Elwyn helped him embody King Tillywith's form. This is a a grave omen, in, indeed. Now he has a huge pile pile of obsidian, and so that no, he's doing something with. And so no one's staff, which we now know is. Dick Arn's staff before that. It was? Yes, it was in Elwyn's notes in the ruins below um, Eimsford. 
he sort of like almost like kicks himself. He he's not as nimble as as he as he can be, but he he shudders to think. History is such a a cruel mistress. It was under my nose the whole time, and his as well. His who? Sarnoran. Oh, okay. The great Sarnoran. Uh, right, anyway. At the very least, there is no trace of him in the ethereal. If he has returned, it is by means that I do not understand. We did finish off Elwyn, though. I am glad to hear it. Although if Elwind and Dekarin were aligned, as you say, perhaps it may not be the last you hear from that particular elven mage. Wait, I'm sorry, where did you say that you and Sarnorin had found that Dekarin had gone? I believe he founded the city of Vidnica uh. before it took to the skies. Sarnorin and I were able to divine that uh, perhaps he called upon some ancient ritual left in place by Dekarin himself long ago when his people vanished. Oh, so Sarnoan used Dekarin's magic? Unknowingly, yes. So what could he be after? What was he after that he was exiled for? I mean, uh, harnessing powers. El- Elwind or Dekarin? Well, we know Elwyn was after Dekarin's power, but yes. I apologize. Dekarin, huh? I waste your time again. The answer is much the same for both. They sought to blur the lines of the dead and the living. They touted as a uh, ever-living paradise. But we in the lands of Mist, we the people of Mistkeep, know this to be a folly. We've seen the Mist other places on Oak Ridge. It seems to be leaking out even further beyond your immediate vicinities in the material. Our home is not the only place where the ethereal crosses over into the prime material. There may be dates and times and places that these things uh, occur. I would view them as uh, no direct connection, but uh, This need for obsidian gnaws at me. Yes, we, we're, we're curious exactly what he might be after and how we might be able to stop him or, or find his next location because we've lost the trail. How, how could he have come back? He's also using the obsidian that seems to possess power thing to a degree. To, to curse things, right? Somewhat. Like an antenna. A receiver for magics. Is that another not 20? <gasps> it is. Oh my, oh my god, god. god. Grim, yes. thank you. The dice you are guys hot are going to wreck everything in your past. So Here now we, we go. go back and fight the queen. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> Three crits in a row. We'll maybe do Let's some damage. What you wake to? <laughs> what you got to mute? Uh, we have two in the chat. Now. Yeah, we used one already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but we can't Heck use three yeah. crits in a row. We got to use our reactions. Well, three different people can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the antenna. In, in in the past, something such as this, a, a magic, would have a, a limit, a range. But, but with the presence of the sky, and he points to the sky, uh, you can see through a hole in the tower. You actually catch a glimpse of the scar. Even in the ethereal, you can see it. Every place could be a set equal distance from another. It also seems they were using Karantan's power, which would they make sense. They were attempting to. Karantan? Um, the a, dreaming a, a, dragon. A, a, yes, a, a deity beyond... Alas, this this name even escapes my knowledge. He's a, great, he's a great power and omniscient, omniscient being with divination magics uh, far-reaching. It, it seems to align with the fact that they wish to spread them 
magic as far as they can. We left Apollo and Vithnika, correct? Yeah. Yes. Remind me to check on him and message that godforsaken high mage. I mean, you can message Apollo. What if... I don't have time for this. Keep talking, keep talking. At the very least, I think the only details I've left out for you are the fact that our people during the Great War felt the tremors approach, and so we we retreated to our, our most sacred keep, became known as Mist Keep. The war ended, the Great Era began, and when we returned to our lands, we found it taken out from under us. We were few in number, so we allowed this to pass. This was at the time of Sonorn? Oh, no. Pre. This before. This was during the first era, the dawn of history. Well, history for some. But at the very least, unless you have other questions, I'm afraid I may have taken up too much of your time. Would you be receptive to further future questions from our, our friend here? So you're saying the scar acts Absolutely. like... Absolutely. scar acts like a mirror in the sky? In a way, it is equidistant from every point on the plane that it exists on. Uh, oh, we right. see yeah, it yeah, here yeah. because we are tied to the prime material, but if we were to try to get there, we, we, we could not. As, as we've been traveling, like, across the globe or the flat, whatever it is, has the scar always been in the sky? Yes. And it's the scar is even, unmoving. Even, even, yeah, yeah, even and as it's day the same and everything. Yep. Okay. From, right. No, but yeah. wasn't there one time sure. we got closer to it? Wasn't there one time? We were flying closer to it. We were flying point. closer to it. And you, you realize that the scar is equidistant from every point on, on the material the ground. Plane. Yeah. But how could we be not, flying? No, no, just from the, the air. So, oh, like, oh, we were oh, in the sky. Oh, 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 yeah, we were removed from it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Or were we misunderstanding? Person towards you person I'm for... They're both looking at the same scar. That same scar is equal distance. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> so the Where's world we're... is the world is a bowl. I Where's wasn't. We... <laughs> yeah. Where do we look? It's for... magic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where do we look for this guy? Yeah. Where, where might they be? That is where my friend comes into play. As you all wait for the silence that he almost brings on himself a melodic howl echoes through your surroundings <laughs> one second <laughs> how long has it been since we've been talking to him probably about five minutes i've been watching uh, yeah Eric i mean real time it really hasn't been that long yeah, yeah. It, it's been at most 10. It was 9.07 when we started. Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, like, in... Well, I think... Well, that's what I'm saying, like, I mean, speaking takes. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I... Okay, while you figure this out, mm -hmm. let me talk to y'all. So, he said... Yeah. That I haven't he, figured out. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Because yeah, 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 this is a lot before we start yeah, talking to him. he said the obsidian... I... Once we started talking about the obsidian, I got lost. I don't... He said it might be a, an antenna. So, yeah. He's using so, it as an antenna to draw power from the scar no i think to send his magic to the scar so that it can get everywhere right he's trying to broadcast his magic you basically know how a as far as he works can. with the double lens well the, the uh, scar is that lens at the bottom of the telescope mm, okay so he's trying to use it as a broadband radio basically yeah he, he's trying to, to to bring he said like the the ethereal He's trying to blend the ethereal, is that what he said? More or less, he said he's trying to blur the lines between the living and the dead. The living and the dead, and yeah. He, he touts it as like this this ever-living piece, but they know that not to would be it, true. Would, yeah. would he be drawing from the ethereal, or would he be drawing from a more negative plane of existence? Make an arcana check. Okay. Or I could just ask this guy. And <laughs> well, this is this, good this, at Arcana. Howling I, wolf, whoever I it is. I will tell you that he Ooh, would 19 know. on the dice. Uh, Arcana plus five. five. Nice. 24. Um, New wizard. You imagine Whoa. that it may be drawing through the material. Um, as someone who's familiar with the uh, legends of old heroes and where they go when they die, uh, you know that there are many... Planes. There are many planes. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, afterlife is not necessarily the ethereal plane. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Although so, the ethereal plane can be a gateway to others. 
So, we still don't know who or how Dick Harm was brought back. You don't know exactly. He said, Arbane said uh, distinctly that it would have been by means he cannot fathom. fathom. Our best guess at this point is Elwyn still brought him back. Yeah. But we still but think that's Dick Harm in, in Tillywith. Potentially using Carantan's powers of like multiversal or but, other plane oh or he might have been trapped in a different plane and exactly he used Cranston's power to direct because they so that's what I'm thinking his soul wasn't here his soul was shredded somewhere here. else yeah that's what I was gonna ask right probably pieced Our it Bane together said he and Sarnorin confirmed Descartes he didn't exist well they they can't find any trace of him and they believe he his soul was shredded because even yeah. in the afterlife he existed he died they don't know what happened to him after yeah. basically okay. yeah okay so okay so he could have yeah. been in another plane or or like they said something. shredded so, he might have yeah. been in multiple and they were trying to so we're positive that Dekarin is occupying Tillywood's body right now no. it I, has not been confirmed but I am positive. pretty. <laughs> it has not been 90, confirmed for us yet, though. Ninety-eight point two percent. Especially knowing now that Dekarin is also known as the Ashen, like they're yeah, they are they one. Are one. Yeah, so. that was a big yeah. bomb. Yeah, but you're thinking about it in an, the opposite way that I am. Well, all, so so listen real, real quick. <laughs> I know you want to get to the. You're good. About. Nergath. Said his master, we again, Nergath never confirmed that his master was Dekarin, but the fact that Nergath killed the giants and Dekarin was with the giants too, like I thought Ner Nergath was a giant, he was, but he was like, I killed my people, basically, is what he said, or like he had a, he was a part of it. And then he and then he bowed to Tilly and was like, Master or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, like mm -hmm. it probably is Dekarin that is in okay. game, game yeah, recognizing that, so, so game. that's <laughs> yeah, okay. That's where at least I'm coming from for for yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, understand it. Gotta sound the fact of a wolf lip off. Okay. Who's this man person? In this wolf. new world of unfamiliar sights and sounds. It's Jacob. Something you recognizes something you recognize okay. captures your focus. A melodic howl echoes through your surroundings, its resonance swirling from all directions and dizzying your senses as it reverberates off of the colorful curtains of the ethereal. When you finally spy the source by looking through a hole in the roof in the tower, you see a wolf with a coat of variegated iridescence. You can hardly take your eyes off its dazzling splendor. It is perhaps the most beautiful and mesmerizing creature you have ever seen. But Flora, shoot it. You simply know this creature as Arvander. Good old Arvin. As it stands in the distance uh, near a, a grove of trees, seemingly awaiting all of you. Is that the friend that we're supposed to go talk to? Do we to? see recognition on? I don't even know how to like contain myself. I'm not excited. I'm just like surprised. So I will. Can I get to Arvindar? You, Arvind, you can how certainly you try. It? Yeah, I'll Arvander. Hear. Arvander. It's from yeah. your backstory. I know, but I never <laughs> pronounced it. I just typed it. Yeah. I look at I look at Lyra. I'm like you know that wolf. Oh, Mabel. <laughs> Arvander. <laughs> I I want to like call out. Um. I'll use I don't want to just like make shit up on the fly but I'll do a call that I know that our Vander would recognize gotta be a like you a howl whistle. yeah or howl yeah as you howl uh, you see uh, almost no hesitation as uh, he sort of shimmies and then oh and it reverberates once again, swirling through the atmosphere. As it bounces off of these curtains of ethereal nature, you see the colors sort of shimmer and change, uh, almost like uh, uh, dusting a, a mm -hmm. physical curtain. Mm -hmm. um, Arbane looks at all of you and, please, my legs are not what they once were. You're welcome to leave and leave with your friend. He will take you where you need to go. Can, can you do the thing with the stairs? Do you know? Absolutely. Should we take our ship with us? 
I would, uh, I would imagine so. Okay. Do you know Arvindar? <laughs> we met recently, but yes. How recent? Who is Arvindar? Time is weird here. The wolf. But I think it's that. Oh. Maybe. No, just okay. A few just days. Okay. He'll be able to tell you better than I. Oh, I have no doubt of that. Well, thank you. And um, don't be surprised if this one comes knocking. Me? Yes, so you're in, sending. In, in your head. Oh. Oh. Should we have any more questions? You're welcome to intrude at any time. I'm usually alone. The, the, just one thing. He doesn't like um, when you respond with questions. Yeah, do you, are you aware of how the sending spell works? I am. Okay. How? I've never casted it myself. How does I'm it not work? a magician. But. You can tell him when you're first sending. That's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he right, we not, are limited. He does not like you to respond to the question. Just don't, answers Don't, don't, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm saving you the pain in the future. He's um, still going to ask I would like He's going to be like, is that right? <laughs> um, I know Seven they're more. going to the ship. I'm going to, like, look at you guys and be like, I'm going to, I'll go ahead. And I want to wild shape into my Feywild form of like a similar type wolf. Okay. And you, I want to go up, follow Arvinder. You see Flora sort of transform into a wolf, but not in like sort of a, a uh, menacing or vicious it's not a, it's not a vicious transformation instead you see her her hair sort of grow long and turn into vines uh you see those vines intertwine uh with her backside as she uh arches into all fours and uh it is a uh light gray wolf with like uh, uh green uh vines and leaves sort of like tufted kinda under like, the fur kind of like yeah yeah um, and I'll just like join the pack and we'll just travel together. Okay. On the way out, yep. I want to convince Ube to. <laughs> like, you just keep giving names. Try. Wait, is this your familiar? Yeah. No, 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 no. no the guy. The guy. Oh, oh okay. I, I, I want to try, yeah. try and convince <laughs> him. Tell him about our. I'm real quick going to tell him Ube. how terrible our experience was with the queen. And it, but then I'm gonna be like, but I see a little bit of hurt in there, and I think you can melt that heart. I, I up, think you should give it another shot. I gave up that quest long ago. Give it another shot. Oh my god. There's a philosophical difference between the two of us, as I'm sure you can tell. The She's closed herself off, and I'm happy to have known her for the part of our lives that our paths did cross. You may not know this, but uh, elves long lived as we are. This happens. She's gonna need some help. I feel like y'all are gonna be in danger with all of this ash and business going on. So take the opportunity to melt that frozen heart. He's probably thinking, Make a persuasion I don't care check. If this bitch lives or dies. <laughs> huh? He's probably thinking, I don't care if she lives or dies. <laughs> I probably. No, I was trying to get us the queen to help us in the final fight. <laughs> That one. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'll take my chances with the loneliness. Thanks. You see Drizzato come up and kind of grab on. Yeah. Turn around and go, it is okay. Even the great fires of Aram Marak would not melt her heart. As you hear like, <laughs> <laughs> from the <Yeah>. ship. <laughs> if I was like, we're going. We've got to go. <laughs> I will say, uh, as all of 12. you leave our bane yeah. and re-enter the mist for the first time, make one more wisdom save. Even me? Yeah. The wolf? Mm-mm. Ooh. I would say especially you. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. 18. 18? Failed. <laughs> this is a wisdom save? Yeah. I'll use my reaction. Take 16. a 24. Okay. I rolled a nat one. And what'd you get? <laughs> 16. 16. So. Nine plus seven, Odd. Yeah. Roll yeah. a d20 and a d4. Oh, the DC must be 16. Two. It's 15. Oh, and a nat 20. Nice. I rolled a 16. Fucking <laughs> your memories become extremely sharp and clear for an hour you actually can uh, uh, not only recall memories but you find that you can shape them into being almost as an illusion uh, during this time you are going to get a uh, double proficiency bonus to any intelligence checks made to recall information is 
And Light still running weird around this guy? Yes. Sick. <laughs> so, the four of you exit Arbane's hovel and make your way over to the hill near the grove of trees where Arvander is standing stoically. Though, uh, Flora, as you arrive... Um, I want, can I message you something real quick? You definitely can. You would also definitely arrive before us because we had a, like, ship hop to get yeah. there. Right, right. I was about to say, as you arrive, you arrive alone. As uh, the mist kind of swirls around my headband, and I come even smarter, I'm like, Valoth, I know everything. A- about everything. <laughs> that, where's my let's, ab- start, let's start brainstorming. What's let's go. 300 times 200. Where is my obsidian right now? 60,000. History check to see where his obsidian is right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you recall the last time you saw it, it blipped out of existence to somewhere else when you were in Innocent. I know it's not in Innocent. <laughs> no, you know it is not in that particular place in Innocent. <laughs> <laughs> well, it also can't be within a thousand feet of Innocent, didn't you try to? Yeah. Find it? No, I specifically did not try to find it because if he's using powerful enough teleportation magic to transport himself and that much obsidian, he's not within a thousand feet. A thousand one, maybe. Um, so Flora, as you arrive, you see uh, the Wolf of Dreams uh, as he approaches you and sort of like nudges ahead against yours. Uh, his form changes uh, and you feel a magical pull as yours begins to revert as well, uh, and you embrace in a solid hug. It's good to see you, Flora. It's good to see you. Did uh, you know we were coming? I knew you were here. And I thought you might come. Really, I'm confused as to why you haven't gone home. Well, we're on our way. We're talking to you. <laughs> if, and only because of Matavi. Well, I'm here now to take you there, so. That's where we're headed. Perfect. No, I, that was a question. If, you, if you'd like. The people there, they need you. I thought that you were supposed to be bringing us. You see his eyes track as the ship now I'd circles and begins to land nearby. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Is but, he talking about you going back to Zashatan yeah. right now? Okay. Um, That's what I thought. But didn't Arbane just say you were going to tell us where to go? That's what I'm doing. <sighs> so are we, there, are we there now? Yeah. You guys are walking up on this conversation as Arvander so. states. Uh, you, well, you rather, you, <laughs> you see an, an Eladrin like Flora, uh, but with much more bronze skin, uh, tufted like reddish summer hair with like twigs sticking out of it. Um, he looks young, but he, uh, and, and he carries himself as a child, but you, you may get the sense that he's, he's older than Flora. Well, would I, would I know that he's talking about Zashitan or Thewa? Zashitan. Okay. Also, um, what color was Matavi again? Blue. Okay. Deep blue. If, if Matavi- he was a furball, different race. Yeah. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Because if, if he was bronze, I'd have been, I know it's not him, but I'd have been like, oh, Matavi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you still do that. Uh, I, uh, so, why are you bringing me to Zashitan? Well, it seemed like you needed a nudge. Oh, we're going to Zashitan. Indeed. A nudge to where? Well, I knew, I knew we had to go. We have we have. Yes, we yes, have to take care of Matavi. That was our, our next right. stop. We have to take care of Matavi. That is was, my. But, oh. That is my. But is, top priority. Right. Flora. Did, there's a bit more than that. I promised Matavi I would give him a proper burial. Easy going as I am. Even I recognize the dangers and the the, the, the dark clouds that loom over Zashtar. Is that is that where they are? Is that where the is Ashen that, is? I was getting there. I'm assuming this is a friend, Flora. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, didn't say, he didn't mean it like as a jab. You no, get the sense well, that Val he's like, takes it as a jab. Yeah. Val's like, I mean, we're in a rush, man. <laughs> it's more of family than friend. That is, okay. that is brother. 
uh, cousins, kind uncle? Kind of like Kish was to you, maybe. Okay. okay, but we're not talking like... Stepmother. Like family, sure. as in like... <laughs> this is not like your uncle's like son. No, um, I met him in the Feywild. He raised me. Oh. There. Oh. Um, well, we helped each other out. Yeah. So you're not from Zashatan? I don't think so. You've been in the Feywild a long time. <laughs> I have... I have questions. Um, so, well, time is of the essence. So, I will at least tell you. Uh, you see his like sort of cheerful demeanor take on this like sorrowful expression. Flora, uh, the people in Zashitan, they've they've turned on the wilds. They've they've slain the the great dragon Arethisa. This was Arthur Allen's doing. You, I'm afraid so. And he's he's in league with them. You hear Drizzt go? <gasps> no, a dragon. Is he? Well, I, I know just that dragon. Shrugged. You would make it a, make a history check with advantage. When, you know a bunch of stuff. Are you devil proficiency on intelligence checks? Oh, that's not good. That's a like, five. We need to do something with this. He sees your your unknowing look. I forget. You haven't been there since you were young. Erethisa is the one that makes all the vegetation in Zashtan. Uh, oh, She's man. a powerful being. They slayed her. They did. Why? At the behest of another. I, why, I can't imagine. Possibly the same reason Thralin once sought my power. So is Thralin... Or Thralin... In- Cahoots with. I can't think of any word other than cahoots. In league with. <laughs> yeah. yeah. With the Ashen? I believe so. Oh, I've called it from the get go. Yep. Oh, I did. Weren't we told as much by um, Matavi? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what he's planning, but Flora, he. I don't remember. He's amassed a great power. We have to go. But oh. the first thing, we have to give Matavi a proper burial. Of course. I'll see to it to bring you somewhere cozy. If the Ashen is trying to merge the living and the dead into one being, would it not make sense for him to kill a bunch of things if the nature more things to bring back, to merge? It beats me. I live on the side of vibrance and life. It's hard to imagine a darker place than this. When's the last time you've been back to the material? Recently enough. I saw firsthand what was happening. Felt for myself. Uh, the darkness taking hold there. Are you alive? Of course he is. He's, you can see him. Um, I think so. Are you? Are you like his friend? I, I point. I point the... <laughs> A point to the friend. <laughs> he looks at himself. I can't see through my hand. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you were another spirit. I didn't. I did not. Re- I. I apologize. I think we're. If I had gaseous life. form, I totally would. Have <laughs> 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 so wait, are we still in Miskeep? Yeah, I think we're running yeah. out of time. Yeah, I was like, how much time has it been? Okay, Mabel. Right. Well, it was good to see you. Uh, if you want to take your uh, your big wooden floaty thingy, I'll I'll stand on the front of it, and uh, yeah. I think I can guide you through. Okay. Yeah, let's go. All right. I'll stand up there with you. That I'm case. driving. Okay, I'm gonna go take me able to pee real quick. Okay. okay. Um, I didn't get a chance to do that. On break. You can help. <laughs> well, if you want to stick around, you're not that far off from the end. Maybe What's just hold her. Okay. okay. Survival. But I get to add my proficiency. What was the dragon's name? Ships. I'm sorry. Oh, Arethisa. A e r i. Wisdom. Hang on, I'll I'll just text it to you because I, okay. I don't remember it off the top of my head. But Arethisa, um, all of you board the uh, the Copper Griffin and Valoth. I assume you take the helm. Yes. Roll me a survival check. What? It's a it's a that one. Uh, I am gonna use my reaction. To take the sixteen. Uh, you better be using somebody's reaction. Uh, it's something. a twenty three. Okay. With your 23, 
you lift the ship off the ground as the uh, Wolf of Dreams stands uh, almost. Don't the handles. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> the music got intense, so yeah. I'm just. <laughs> Uh, the Wolf of Dreams stands at the front of the uh, the ship, right off the bow, uh, and uh, name. begins to uh, direct his uh, his nose pointed uh, towards a particular curtain that you see carries a, uh, a turquoise sheen, a bright turquoise sheen. Um, do these pop do? out all over the place? There are curtains everywhere. Well, I'm, I'm asking him, like, is this one? He's in I- wolf form now. Oh, so he didn't know. He goes, Rrr. Rrr. <laughs> he, he nods. I turned to Lyra, and I'm like, do these go to different places in the prime? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a good listener. Uh, Valoth, you follow direction? Yeah, I'm, uh, wherever his, I'm, I'm doing my best to keep his snout pointing straight okay. on the ship. So, like, if he turns it, I turn to so meet it. Basically, yeah. <laughs> as you steer your airship closer, the legendary wolf of dreams howls and summons forth a stunning curtain of turquoise light, even brighter than the one you steered into, shimmering like an aurora borealis in the sky. The wolf itself vanishes into this radiant display, guiding you to pass through its luminescent folds as your ship pierces this ethereal border. The atmosphere changes abruptly. Yeah, Val, as we're approaching, is going to yell, hold on to everyone. Warm air envelops you, and the misty sky is replaced by uh, the dense canopy of a sprawling jungle. Loose vines and thick branches lash at the hull, thudding against the ship as it navigates through the lush, tangled wilderness. This sudden transition from the mystical aurora of the ethereal plain to the chaotic embrace of the jungle leaves you awestruck as Valos struggles to maintain control of the vessel. Mm. We're in the treetops right now, right? You are. Do but I, as okay. as you begin to uh, set the ship down, okay. spores and clipped foliage settle into the dirt below. You finally take mm-hmm. time to inspect your surroundings. The sounds of flowing water and fluttering leaves fill you with a sense of relative peace until you notice that you are not alone. In this fresh clearing you've created, just ahead of the Copper Griffin's perch, stands a familiar shape, the Firbolg of Zashitan. And that is where we will end our session for tonight. Hey, Matavi. <laughs> we, 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 wow. we know where we are. No. So... Thank you all for joining us tonight. I hope you all had a great time. I know we did. Uh, Catch us again a couple weeks from now for a very special session of Legacy of the Ashen. Uh, Next week, we are going to be running a one-shot, and then the week after is going to be our Pokemon campaign. So join us then. Uh, In the meantime, do make sure to go check out Tabletop Beard. Uh, The link is in the description below, and you can get 20% off at checkout for some amazing spring floral smells in your whiskers. Uh, do also check out our friends over at Darkport. Uh, they have an amazing stream that runs on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Central Time, and uh, we love them. They're here in the chat all the time. I'm usually in their chat. It's a good time all around. But until then, go out there and make some chaos. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. Bye.